tone bot, no I'm tone bot, no I'm tone bot. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know, it's the king. Too loyal, no I'm tone bot, Ratchet TV. Hey, I y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. I ain't so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up. Look, tonight we have to talk about what is really about to happen tomorrow at 2.22. Something major is about to happen. I don't know if we've been living under rocks or whatever. But I told y'all, I said, the Diddy case, complete distraction. And I kept telling y'all there's other things going on that we should be covering. And it's about to, it's, something big was about to happen. So I'm not going to even hold us no more. I have to have this conversation tonight. I feel like I was led to have this conversation with y'all. It's just been something in me. And I just have been focused on this I've, I've been just studying this shit nonstop, researching, doing as much as I can do to figure out what the hell is about to happen. So let me tell y'all like this. Tomorrow, they are about to try to become God. Allegedly. Allegedly. And everything I say is alleged. And it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Am I the only one that phone service just been acting crazy? That phone service, that social media apps. And trust me when I say my service never drops. My, I've, all of these years, I've been with my phone company for about 10 to 12 years. My phone service just doesn't drop on a constant basis. And when, you, when you're looking at everything that's going on with the eclipse that's supposed to be happening on April 8th, there's a solar stone that's supposed to be happening, the eclipse is supposed to be happening, lining up with... Um, a certain amount of uh, states within the United States. Cicadas are supposed to be hatching at the exact same time. There was a, a thunderbolt that hit the, the Statue of Liberty. We had an earthquake in New Jersey. Stay woke, y'all. I want y'all to pay attention. We got, <clears throat> we have a very, very deep message tonight that you guys have to pay attention to. Like I'm, t I'm telling y'all, listen to me carefully. Go tell a friend to tell a friend to watch this live. If you never watched any of my content before, if you've never seen one video, I tell you right now, and I haven't even finished the video. I haven't even started it. This is the one you should watch. If you've never watched nothing else, just watch this one. And it's so important that you tell somebody it's because they're not going to believe you. And I need everybody to wake up because once they try to go get these God particles, once they try to go, I'm going to explain it all in a minute. I just want to start to show off like this. I'm just, I'm just led to do what I'm doing. So I have no idea how to do this tonight. I'm just going to do it and we're going to chop it up. But y'all have to pay attention and you have to tell somebody to watch this live tonight and get the likes up, spread the word, get this trending down the algorithm. It's a lot going on. And even if you're somebody who doesn't believe in conspiracy theories, it's a lot going on at one exact time. Now, also, even if you don't believe in, uh, you know, conspiracy theories, you gotta understand that the solar storm is a real thing that's happening. CERN, a company that is trying to explore dark matter, trying to recreate the Big Bang Theory, they're trying to find out what created the universe. And there you go. CERN is trying to figure out what created the universe. What do you mean? What created the, there's only one solution. <laughs> there's only one solution to what created the universe. Salute brown skin girl on that 20 piece McNugget. This going to be good. Yeah, this is about to be a good one. This is going to be the best ratchet gang show ever. So what do you think happens when you go discover the God particle? Cause that's what you call it. There's something amongst all of us and it, and it's, 
there's a such thing as dark matter, purple matter, pink matter, whatever matter. There's I don't I'm, I'm trying to make this I'm trying to land the plane and make everybody understand without giving too much at the same time. Just understand that they got machines and they're trying to go discover what created the earth or what created the universe, excuse me, what created the whole universe, what created everything. They want to go do, open up portals. They want to go time travel. They want to travel back into time. They want to go open up portals. They're, uh, they're doing all this tomorrow. They've been throwing Diddy in our face for so long, shoving Diddy down our throat for so long. No Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. But listen, they've been, they've been sitting there just throwing all this at us. And I told y'all this was one big distraction. This was one big distraction. Pay attention, y'all. This is exactly what happened in things like the Tower of Babel, where we are messing with things we have no control over. And those of you who don't quite know what the Big Bang Theory is or the, the creation story, they say that everything in the universe came from one place. For religious people, that is God. For scientific people, they have now discovered that there was a power source that created all life in the universe. It came from one place. This essentially would be what? God or the creator, whatever you want to call it. They have already established that dark matter is a real thing. These are not, you know, myths or imaginary stories made up. They have established that dark matter is a real thing. And there's these particles that are found everywhere in the universe all around us called the God particles. And I told you, there's something, uh, there's just something in front of you right now. It's all around you. It's everywhere. It's called God particles. When you can't see them, you can't feel them. You can't do nothing with them. They're there. And that's what created the universe. That is the little particles that created everything. But you want to go mess with these particles. So this is just, this is just me thinking. What good can come from this? There's no good that can come from this. You go mess with the particles that created everything. This is the power source. You want to go find the power source to everything. That means you want to discover God. That means you want to become God and get the power of God. There's nothing good that can come from gaining that type of power. And there's nothing good that can come from trying to get that type of power. It's either going to go horribly wrong or you're going to figure it out and it goes horribly wrong. Either way, I think y'all should pay attention because we might be fucked. But my main fear with this is this, right? If there is a power that created all life in the universe, this power may be all intelligent, all knowing, and has control over everything, right? And this power knows that you're trying to obtain their power or you're trying to, you know, collect their power in some kind of way. What do you think this, this force will do to you? Am I the only one terrified of that? If the Tower of Babel was a true story, these people were struck down simply trying to go to the heavens because they tried to get closer to God to see what's up there. So imagine if somebody had the technology to try to collect these God particles. And on top of that, say, say that these folks tried to collect these God particles, right? What are they about to do with power of God, essentially, because you will have the particles of what created the universe. So what will you do with this kind of power? To be honest, in my opinion, if this is possible, none of this ends well for us. Be because one thing about history that I have realized is only one thing. When humans get more power, they make more war. That is it. I see, I see no good benefit, no healthy benefits coming out of this. No, ma no matter how you try to flip this coin, nothing good comes out of this. Stay safe out there. So what do y'all think about that? That's just how I wanted to start the show off. I'm going to go completely left here in just a minute. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to hear. This is going to be a very enlightening show because it's going to we got to go through the spiritual side because it, we've been preparing for this spiritual warfare on this platform especially we, we we've been ready for this day i'm not saying tomorrow at 222 it's going to be chaos and so, what i am telling you is tomorrow there's going to be a different energy amongst everybody there's going to be a, a different energy they said the higgs boson was found in like 2012 
it is the particle it is the particle was responsible for mass it was called the god particle due to how hard it was to find and that's the particle that created the universe but i appreciate the 15 salute team make uh, team maker i appreciate that 15 salute to you salute 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 uh you've seen i don't know if you've been here before i think you might be new but salute to you i appreciate you for uh the 15 but essentially they are trying to go find this particle that created everything but they're also there's going to be an energy shift tomorrow. Tomorrow, they said everyone is going to experience this energy. There's going to be demonic energy amongst us because this is tied into Aleister, Aleister Crawley. I don't know if y'all even know who Aleister Crawley is. In some way, this is he was doing portals way back when. I, do y'all know who Aleister Crawley is? I don't want to scare everybody tonight, but this is something we have to talk about. This is this is something that we have to discuss. Salute Joe Young on that uh, 20 piece. I appreciate you for that 20 piece. Salute, salute. So Aleister Crowley, he used to do the portals, open up portals and all this stuff. And they want to travel back in time and go through these portals. They're not telling y'all what portals they're trying to go to. This is tied into Aleister Crowley. He was the one doing the portals. There was no one else doing. He was the satanic whoop. -de -whoop. He, he used to go do the portals and do all types of st he man this dude is a, a, a dangerous dude salute to g money for that 20 piece on cash app i appreciate you salute 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 uh I, i'll check my messenger in just one second i got you uh yeah so essentially bro like i said you're trying to go open up these portals and then they said hold on this is not even the kicker they said some people are gonna have demon face tomorrow a per some people might have permanent demon face these are you're gonna be able to start seeing the reptilians, the skin crawlers. You're, it, it's about to get wicked, y'all. I'm, I'm telling y'all, you, you don't have to believe me. I'm about to start this show. We got like two hours worth of content. I don't know how long we're going to be here. I just know if you want to be woke, you're going to watch this damn live tonight. If you want to wake the hell up, you're going to watch this live and you're going to tune into this platform. Salute TT Diva on that uh, membership. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. Let's get this show started. Y'all ready? Let's go, man. I got, I got a lot to talk about tonight, man. We got a lot to talk about. Explain to me this. If it's just a normal eclipse, why bring three rockets to the eclipse? Why? If it's just a regular normal solar eclipse, why are they sending three rockets to it? What are these three rockets is going to do? And they opening up CERN. And CERN is coming back tomorrow, y'all. CERN is who's coming for these God particles. And they're, they're allegedly shooting rockets tomorrow. What is going on tomorrow? They also, it's a state of emergency for a lot of people. If this is just a regular eclipse, why is it a state of emergency for everybody? I'm going to cover that. I can answer why it's a state of emergency because I know what's really going on. They not telling y'all what's really going on. They did not prepare y'all for what was about to happen. They didn't tell y'all the truth. But I'm going to speak the truth tonight. What three rockets is going to do to the solar eclipse? If it's just a normal eclipse, why are they saying three rockets to hit the solar eclipse? Because they know something is up. They know something is about to transpire and happen on this earth. They want to keep everyone distracted by entertainment and all these things transpiring. But something major is about to hit the earth that we, or majority of most, don't know. Why are they deploying military? Something's going to happen this day, tomorrow. I don't know what. Something's going to happen. Something's going to transpire. I'm not saying it's the end of the world, but this is definitely a sign of God's judgment. There's no point of them sending three rockets to the freaking sky. What are they trying to blow up the moon? Why? Why? What is the purpose of that? So just be on the lookout. Be prepared for the unexpected. What do y'all think about that? They didn't tell y'all a lot of this stuff. Some of y'all know. Drop the gems if you are aware of this. Drop the eyeballs if you just you just shocked as hell. Because this is just the beginning. I got a whole list of things. We're going to cover the side of it, what's going on, like the coverage part. We're going to get into the spiritual side of it. We're also going to get deep 
we're going to take a deep dive into CERN, who CERN, I'm not even going to spoil it. Let's just say they, they've been the creators of a lot of shit. If y'all are aware of who CERN is, they've been the creators of a whole lot. These people are some dangerous people. Because for some reason, they're sending three rockets to the moon and activating CERN. If it's just a normal, regular solar eclipse, what are they trying to stop and prevent? Or what they trying to make happen? There's no point in sending three rockets up there. Don't send the rockets. You can't... <laughs> Well, they sending some rockets, man, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. They sending some rockets out there, man. And it's about to be some ish that pops off tomorrow, y'all. Let's let's continue. Let's continue. We got a lot to talk about, man. I, I'm going to speed us up because we're going to be here, man. I, I think we're going to get – I think we, we should get more than 2,000 people in here tonight, man. This should be an impactful live. Let's go. There was an eclipse that took place seven years ago. Went right across America. There's another eclipse coming right across America. It'll make a perfect cross on the center of the nation. Uh-oh. What's happening, y'all? The center of the nation. God made the first sign go through seven cities named Salem on August 21st, 2017. The word Salem, according to Bible, is peace. So God is saying seven times he offered peace. The next eclipse is coming. It goes through several cities here. Nineveh, 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 Nineveh. Jonah gave Nineveh 40 days. Uh-oh. What's going on here, y'all? 40 days. Let's talk about this. God said you've got 40 days to repent. Only the sign of Jonah will be shown to you. And that's right here now. Seven and seven. Seven cities called Salem. Seven cities called Nineveh. And seven years apart. Right in the center of the cross is a city called Rapture. What is God's message? We have got 40 days. We've got to repent and seek God like never before. He's coming very, very soon. Okay, y'all. Like I said, this is the moment that I think it's a lot of people finna wake up in the building. There are some things that they're not telling y'all. There are some things that are going to take place, and it's going to be good versus evil. You're going to be looking at good versus evil. You might be looking at the, the apocalypse that everybody's been been uh been teasing for a long time with all the prep work they've gotten you with things like The Walking Dead and all the video games and all this. They've been preparing us all this time. If you've been watching TV, they got movies about this type of stuff when they go discover particles. And they got movies about the apocalypse and it's going to end up allegedly happening. They got movies and TV shows about all this. We're going to get into the Simpsons tonight as well. We're going to cover all this shit. Y'all let's, let's keep it a big buck. The solar eclipse theory just got a lot deeper and it has to do with these cities. So as you probably know, we're having a solar eclipse on April 8th. So what everyone has been talking about is this picture right here, which is the past and upcoming solar eclipse patterns and this picture right here. So this is in Revelation, and it says, I'm the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The Aleph and the Tav. And, the and look at that, the beginning and the end. This is exactly what this eclipse is going to hit. This is exactly where the, where the darkness will be, and it's the exact, man, I'm telling y'all, this is, I don't believe in coincidences. We don't believe in coincidences over here. Pay attention, y'all. Beginning and the end. And the Bible also mentions days of darkness in the end time prophecies. But all this got a lot deeper with one Bible verse. Matthew chapter 12 verse 39 reads, He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation, much like ours currently, asked for a sign, but none will be given except the sign of the prophet of Jonah. So what sign could Jesus be trying to give? Now this is where it gets crazy. So this right here is the path the solar eclipse is taking. It will be passing several cities known as Nineveh. Nineveh. And if you look in the Bible, those there's come on, y'all. I'm not here to it's not Bible study, but I'm just telling y'all this is just what you can't you can't deny the truth and the facts. You can't deny this. This is these are just facts. So all I'm laying out tonight is facts. So for all of the people who want facts, these are look in the Bible and it'll tell you the same shit. This is come on, y'all. This is this is not. This is exactly what you think it is. So stay woke, man. Let's go. So what does that have to do with the sign of Jonah? So Jesus told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he denied him. But he couldn't deny God's plan and still ended up in Nineveh. 
this is where it's crazy. This solar eclipse pattern will be passing six cities known as Nineveh. It begins with the city of Jonah. And not only that, halfway through, there is a city known as Rapture. And not far from that is a town called Williamstown, Kentucky, which holds the Ark Replica. Man, man, man. Now the goal is not to free you guys into following Christ, because no man knows the day Jesus will be returning. But he did say he would give signs, so it's important to get right with God before it's too late. He was kind of low in there, but I hope y'all heard the message clearly. It's time to get right with God, man. There's going to be some signs to get right. I mean, you don't got to pay attention to the signs. You do whatever the hell you want to. I'm going to be real. You do whatever you want to. All I can tell y'all is it's it's about to get real wicked. So if you're not right by the time it's time to get right, hey, it is what it is. That's all I can tell you. If you if you ain't got right by the time, because y'all just y'all getting on on YouTube and using your platforms to spill hatred and to spill nothing but hatred and negativity into the world. Meanwhile, there's gonna be one day you're gonna be judged. It ain't gonna be by me or none of nobody in this room, but it's gonna be between you and whatever you know what I'm saying you standing in front of. So all I can say is get right. You got you still got time while you while you're here, man. Some people ain't got this chance. You still got a chance. Let's go. Get ready to be stunned by the Simpsons chilling prediction, the unveiling mysteries of the solar eclipse. As celestial enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the upcoming solar eclipse on May 8, 2024, many are turning to an unlikely source for insight, the Simpsons. Renowned for its uncanny ability to foreshadow real-world events, the long-running animated series has once again sparked intrigue with its purported prediction of this astronomical phenomenon. In an episode titled The Bonfire of the Manatees, which originally aired on September 11, 2005. The Simpsons featured a scene in which a solar eclipse cast its shadow over Springfield. The parallels between the fictional eclipse depicted in the Bonfire of the Manatees and the real-life solar eclipse of May 8, 2024 are undeniable. From the date of the eclipse to the eerie accuracy of its portrayal, fans of The Simpsons have been left in awe of the show's seemingly prophetic powers. Oh, man, I'm telling you, The Simpsons don't miss. If you ever want to know what's going on, pay attention to The Simpsons. They do not miss while some skeptics attribute these predictions to mere coincidence others see them as evidence of the show's keen ability to tap into the collective unconscious and foresee events before they occur regardless of one's stance on the matter there's no denying the cultural impact of the simpsons and its enduring legacy as a cultural touchdown as the world awaits the arrival of a solar eclipse on may 8 2024 fans of the show will be watching closely eager to see if the simpsons has once again peered into the future with uncanny accuracy what do y'all think, man? They they basically had the glasses on there. It, it, the Simpsons be lining up everything. You pay attention to everything on the Simpsons, man. They always got the drop on everything. They seem to always have the drop, man. So let's listen to let's listen to what they are describing a total eclipse is. Let's listen. As the Earth rotates around the Sun and the Moon rotates around the Earth, they fall into alignment at least twice a year. Now, even though the Sun's diameter is about 400 times larger than the Moon, a total solar eclipse where the Moon completely covers the Sun is possible because the Sun is about 400 times farther away from Earth. Okay, so... <sighs> Do y'all do y'all think they are big capping? You can look at the body language and just start. Look, look at their body language. They just so now the moon is bigger than the sun all of a sudden. So now the moon can just cover the sun. Oh, the sun just moved all the way back. Okay, we we listening. Do y'all believe it? Drop the gems if you believe it. Drop the caps if you think they just. What do y'all think? Let me know in the chat. Now, when you look at the sky, they both seem about the same size. While the impact of the eclipse will be experienced across much of the country, the big show is the umbra. I love the umbra. Love the umbra. And that's when the moon completely blocks the sun. Love the umbra, bro. Love the umbra. What are you talking about, bro? Stop the cat. That's the total eclipse. As the shadow of the moon travels across North America, we get the, the path, path of totality. totality. It will go from Texas to Maine and will be between 108 and 122 miles wide now from texas to maine y'all oh i'm in texas dallas texas it's gonna be it's gonna hit front and center right in dallas texas so it's gonna be a lot going on in d-town now on every morning of our life you will notice that the sun rises in the east yep. and sets in the west but the eclipse actually goes west to east mm -hmm. because you're watching the moon's shadow and orbit not the earth's 
They're explaining it to y'all. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about the way they're explaining it? Most of America gets the penumbra. Uh, that is partial shadow. Mm. And if you're only 30 miles from the path, you'll get what's called deep partiality. You'll see just a sliver of the sun with the sky darkening a bit. It's the difference between night, night and-, and day. It's the difference between night and day, y'all. What do y'all think about this? Do y'all think that this is a bunch of gems or a bunch of cap? Because they're feeding it to us, but they're supposed to feed this to us. In day, the farther away you are from the path, the moon will cover less of the sun. Here in New York City, we're at 90%. And if you're in the 75% area down here, only 75% of the sun will be covered. That's- this is just very weird, y'all. This is about to get very weird. I'm being serious. This is going to get weird. It's not bad, though. Not it's bad. still going to be a show. Now, yeah. people north of the path of totality will see the bottom of the sun covered, and right. people to the south will see the top of the sun covered. The next solar eclipse that crosses the U.S. This is just weird, y'all. Keep it a buck. We'll be in 2045. 2045. From California to Miami. Yeah. And that's going across the other way. You see what I'm saying? This is... If you're not paying attention to the signs, it's so obvious that he's talking straight to us. Like, hey, fix it. Y'all got y'all still got time to get this together, bro. This is this is not the way. This is not it. This is not the way. This is not what he designed, man. This is not what it was supposed to be. He didn't he didn't warned us and, and warned us and warned us. But when are we gonna take heed to those warnings? Let's let's pay attention, y'all. Let's pay attention. Something weird is going on with CERN and the April 8th eclipse. On this day, as the moon cloaks us in darkness, CERN's Large Hadron Collider, the titan of science, will push boundaries like never before. They're ramping up to test the world's most potent particle accelerator during the eclipse. Why? To hunt for dark matter, the invisible force believed to hold our universe together. But here's where it gets spine tingling. The same day witnesses the Devil's Comet, some think this alignment with CERN's experiment is no mere coincidence. The devil, hold on, wait, wait, what? But here's where it gets spine tingling. The devil's comet, y'all? The devil's comet, let's listen. The same day witnesses the devil's comet. So the same day witnesses the devil's comet. Oh shit, y'all. The devil's comet is it's supposed to be tomorrow, allegedly. Some think this alignment with CERN's experiment is no mere coincidence. CERN, home to the Shiva statue, dances with the cosmos's mystery. And that's CERN's symbol that that sits right in front of the 39th and the 40th building in CERN. This sits right in the in the between the 39th and the 40th building at CERN. This is their little symbol. What does this look like to y'all? This is CERN's symbol. They're throwing it right in your damn face, y'all. They want to become God, and they are who? What the hell is going on tomorrow, y'all? Y'all better start waking up. They finished, man. It's going to be some shit. Evil is about to try to take over tomorrow, y'all. That's all I can tell y'all. As simple as that, evil is about to try to prevail. And if they get a hold of what they get a hold of, it's, it's a wrap. And if they don't, I feel like it's a wrap. Because you went looking. If you don't go poking a bear. You you're going to ask. It's like you're going to say, "Hey, God, where you at? Like, come on, come out. We we finna go find you." I don't know what y'all doing, man. It's, it's scaring the hell out of me, though. Are they merely searching, or could they unlock a portal to unseen dimensions? What will happen when we peer into the universe on this unique day? What do you think will happen? What do y'all think is gonna happen when they obtain particles? It may send y'all to so it may send y'all off to dimensions you can't even think of. But allegedly they've already been in contact with uh, different beings. I'm gonna show y'all that though. Allegedly they've already been in contact with other life forms anyway, and they're gonna tell on themselves. Let's continue, man. They are going to tell on themselves. Let's continue this, y'all. Let's continue. I got a whole bunch to talk about tonight, man. Let's go. Get the likes up, y'all. Make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. You guys, oh my God, watch this. So if things couldn't get any stranger in 2024, some of you guys will experience something that you have never ever experienced in your entire life during April 8th, 2024. And it doesn't matter if you are able to see this solar eclipse or if you aren't you are going to feel this energy change 
what you see out your eyes. This will be called demon face syndrome. Demon face syndrome, y'all. Some people tomorrow will get demon face syndrome. I know y'all are like, bro, what in the hell is going on? Yeah, and I'm going to show y'all what demon face syndrome is. Yes. And like I said, there's going to be an energy shift because they're going to go mess with the particles that created the universe. Do y'all understand what this means for humanity? I don't I, I don't think y'all get it, man. It's just like I, I don't think some people get it. I seriously don't. You can't go messing with you can't you can't do what you're doing. It's just I, I don't know, fam. Let's let I don't know. Peace and love. I don't and know. like I said, 2024 will keep getting stranger. Keep your eyes open, though. Deuces. 2024 is getting very, very spooky, y'all. And if I haven't opened your eyes by now, don't worry. Eyes will be wide open by the time I'm done with this live. We got so much more to talk, but we still got about an hour and 30 minutes left of content. Man, I'm not done. I'm nowhere near done. Man, we're going to be here for a while. I'm not going to leave this live until all is exposed. We must be alert this April 8th. 2024 as we could enter the three days of darkness the bible tells us on the 8th of april the world will witness a celestial event that has aroused both fascination and concern a total solar eclipse and it is not just any eclipse like the ones we have seen before as it will be on the same day as the three days of darkness in egypt during this phenomenon the moon will come between the earth and the sun temporarily obscuring the earth However, beyond its visual magnificence, this eclipse has stirred up ancient concerns and fears associated with biblical prophecies. In the biblical scriptures, astronomical phenomena are alluded to as warning signs, as the Bible tells us in Joel 2 verse 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. For many, the eclipse this April 8th awakens memories of ancient beliefs about the end times and divine judgment. In the midst of a world full of uncertainty and conflict, the idea that such a celestial event could be a harbinger of cataclysmic events is a powerful reminder of the end times. Man, 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 y'all better stay woke. They they not telling y'all what this eclipse and what, what they really doing is, oh, yeah, just wear your glasses tomorrow. But why are they putting it in a state of emergency? Why is, it, why is this a state of emergency tomorrow, y'all? Can somebody explain to me why there is a state of emergency in certain places tomorrow? I want to know that. I want to know. Because if, if it's just what you're saying it is, then, I mean, it should be a normal day. It's just going to get dark for a little bit, right? It's just an eclipse, right? Salute to uh, Petty Queen for being a member for nine months. Throw them flowers up for Petty Queen. Salute to Grumpy. Says, I'm spiritual. Been uh, telling forces. Love Earth. Salute. Salute, Grumpy. I appreciate you. Salute. Let's get to this next video, man. Let's get to this next one. Let's continue. April 8th is it obviously the solar eclipse. And as many as you know, it's a sign from God. Um, as he told Jonah to warn the people of Nineveh, the same way he's warning the people in the U.S. Repent, stop your actions, or it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Now, the exact things that are going to happen that day, I would need to go into prayer and tell you guys later. Like I, have, I haven't prayed about it yet, and God has not hit me in my spirit yet about it. Um, so in order for me to come back with something, I would need to go into prayer. Just know you are okay if you're with the Lord. And things are going to end up all right. These things must happen. That's why I feel like in my spirit. These things must happen. Jesus Christ is coming back. Man, man, man. Like I said, just wake up and let all the people who, who troll tonight, just pack them all up. Those are nothing but demonic people. There's no way you're going to troll during a time like this and what we're talking about. That, that can only mean one thing, because I, I don't see nothing funny that's going on. I don't see nothing humorous about this. I see my I see my people trying to wake up and I see us trying to learn over here. Salute to Yolanda Harshaw says all of our schools are closed tomorrow in Little Rock, Arkansas. We was told to stay in and keep our doors locked. I appreciate you for your first super on the live stream, uh, Yolanda. Now, ask yourself that. 
Why is why are they telling you to lock your doors? And so what's going to happen if it's just an eclipse? Why are the schools closed? Why can't people go to work? Why is the government shutting down tomorrow? Can you explain that? If this is all some big joke and you oh man, ain't nothing happening. You just over here watching. It ain't nothing going on. Then why is there a state of emergency for so many places tomorrow? Why are they not telling you why? It's just an eclipse, right? There's nothing else going. It's just an eclipse, right? It's just an eclipse, right? Right? Let's continue, man. We're going to wake up over here. Let's continue. NASA admits heaven is real. NASA has a warning for people who want to get a closer look at next month's total solar eclipse. Make sure you have the proper eye protection, like the eclipse glasses. Eclipse glasses? Now, what, what in the hell is eclipse glasses? Can somebody in here tell me what the hell eclipse glasses are? That You ain't, you ain't going to tell me, they, oh, we made some glasses specifically for this eclipse. How do you know what the... There's no way you can determine what the hell is going to happen with the eclipse and what, how do you know that? You see what I'm saying? They're playing with everybody, man. And as you look at the heavens on April the 8th, when the eclipse starts, please, please put those glasses on. When you look into the heavens on April 8th, please, please, please put those glasses on. Because you know what's going to happen when you look into the sky without those glasses? Those demons are going to enter you. And they're telling you, when you look up there, you better have these glasses. You better not be looking outside tomorrow because it's going to be some evil stuff going on while this eclipse is happening. And y'all better protect yourselves because it's going to enter you. Whatever's going on out there, y'all ever seen Stranger Things? Yo, I'm being serious, y'all. It is some wicked shit about to happen. This could end up being one of the most watched solar eclipses ever, with more than 31 million people living in its path. So if there's 31 million people in this path and you can get control of how many souls, if they just look up there with, with y'all equipment out and a lot of particles being, I don't know, fam, I'm afraid for, for this shit. That path covers 15 states from Texas to Maine. Salute, Grumpy. Yeah, this ain't funny at all, man. This ain't funny at all. I, I don't find nothing funny about this. Like I said, it's a lot going on, and we got to uncover this shit, man. Somebody has to talk about this stuff. Somebody does, and not a lot of people are willing to. So, like I said, I'll, I'll definitely use my platform to have this conversation. I, I, I don't mind using my platform to have this conversation. Let's listen in to this real quick. Let me, let's me let listen in. What, what you talking about, Andrew Tate? I'm pretty sure that 99% of Americans don't know that the upcoming solar eclipse will be the realization of a prophecy from the Bible, dating back over 2,000 years. On April 8th, a rare total solar eclipse will plunge parts of the U.S. into darkness in the middle of the day. The man, man, man. This is going to be... And it's, and it's happening at 2... 22 tomorrow y'all it's gonna happen at 2 22 that's what time it starts p.m 2 22 shocking part is this eclipse will pass over eight towns called nineveh which is the same city in the bible where the prophet jonah warned of god's wrath additionally the constellation cetus symbolizing a whale will be visible during the eclipse echoing the biblical narrative where jonah is ingested by a whale before he admonishes nineveh for its sins jesus also mentioned jonah's sign in the scriptures she said they gave all the kids solar uh, glasses, eclipse glasses at school. See, they, man, look, tell your kids, do not put them glasses on and do not look up in that sky. Listen to me, y'all. I mean, you could do whatever you want to, but I'm just saying, if I was you, I would say, give me those glasses. You ain't looking up in that damn sky tomorrow when this shit happens. You, you matter of fact, we locking all these damn windows and we, hell no. Nah. I'm just giving y'all some advice. That's probably what y'all should say. In Matthew 16, 4, Jesus draws upon this story. Historically, right before Nineveh repented in the story, there was a solar eclipse called the Bersagale Eclipse. This astronomical event was said to have caused the pagan city to turn away from false gods and back to the truth. Records of this eclipse were also found in ancient Assyrian artifacts, verifying it happened. America has strayed from God and embraced secular values. This solar eclipse very well may be a sign from the heavens that the door for repentance or closing just as in the story of Nineveh in the Bible after the astronomical event occurred. So I don't know if this is resonating to some of y'all, but I, I believe this is hitting home for a lot of people, man. The end of times. I'm not saying they, that it's tomorrow because it's, it's not. But what I am saying is they're, they're nearing and it's time to, you know, it's, it's time to find a. 
it's time to find a righteous path, man. I mean, we, we can't be doing this forever. Like, do y'all understand that there's another thing called eternity that you got to go through and this is just temporary, but you got to go figure it out after this. You can fuck up as much as you want to out here. And if that's the life you want to live and if that's the life you want to live in the afterlife, then, hey, continue to screw up and, and, and do things the wrong way and you're going to see how it ends. And he just letting you know he real, man. And he and he, and he still love everybody and you still got an opportunity to get it right. I don't know if you've been able to hear about this yet, but they just issued a warning to literally anybody that owns a pet during the solar eclipse. And that's obviously just a couple days away. So this warning was issued to anyone with a pet ahead of the solar eclipse later this month in a couple days. So obviously, like I just said, experts are now warning that pet owners need to take note of some important precautions. They're saying that there's not many reports and not that many scientific studies on animal behavior during eclipses. They're saying that the most likely response is that animals will start their evening routines and show evening behavior. So like going to bed, thinking, it's nighttime and they say that if you have a dog or cat they might go to bed get quieter or start yawning and stretching okay they're also noting that some dogs depending on the breed obviously might start howling at the time of the eclipse thinking it's a full moon or something so obviously while all of that is not concerning pets could begin to show some signs of anxiety just like when there's a thunderstorm or during fireworks so obviously they're just trying to get you to look out for your animals if they do get anxiety so if you do have a pet they're saying to look out for increased panting scratching hiding or pacing so signs of anxiety and if you do need a fresh reminder the eclipse is is going to happen on april the 8th so it's just a couple days away i give you these roundups every day so make sure you add me and come back man 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 so they even got something going for your pets tomorrow y'all and if and if i was you i would take i would take your pets out right at like two o'clock and and let them chill throughout this eclipse and then maybe take them back out around four or something like that let them do their thing out there and then maybe take your pets back out. I wouldn't even let my pet, I wouldn't even open my damn door up during this shit. I'm going to give y'all the timetable here in just one second of the events that are going to occur uh, tomorrow. Let me see. Don't I got the, I got. I had it somewhere. I thought I had it somewhere. It's okay. I'll find it. I, I got the list somewhere. If somebody could send it to me. I, it is a list that's going to happen tomorrow, but I want, I want y'all to pay attention to some shit. Listen to this. Listen to this. I want y'all to pay attention to this. Now let's go. People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They are in Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to April 8th, plug it in, it will show you that the sun and the moon are in Pisces. They are not aligned. They are sitting beside each other, but they are not aligned. What do y'all think about that? Allegedly, the sun and the moon are not even aligned for this to even take place allegedly allegedly what do y'all think about that drop the gems if y'all believe that drop the caps if y'all don't believe that drop the gems if you think that's true drop the caps if you don't believe that what do y'all think is there is there is this supposed to be possible tomorrow let me know how is that possible because the sun and the moon have been out of place since back in september 2023 i've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be people are telling me it's the calendar the calendar's off don't worry about it it's where the sun is in the sky that's different it's not where it should be this eclipse is showing you that i am telling you the truth because if we see an eclipse on April 8th, how is that possible? If the sun and the moon are in Pisces, it can't be an Aries eclipse, right? If the I just figured it out. I just figured it out. It's because they're going to use something else to cover up the sun. This uh, Allegedly, allegedly, it's not no damn moon that's going to cover up the sun. They're going to use some technology to cover shit up and make it completely dark so they can just go do what they need to do. Because this is just the day that they needed to happen, allegedly allegedly that could 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 i be right could i be right could they just be using something to just go cover it up and then just go do what they need to do anyway that's why hey, y'all stay home it's an eclipse y'all stay home don't come out your house and lock the doors just stay in the house this is gonna be an eclipse y'all but it meanwhile it's really them i don't know man the sun is in pisces and if the sun and the moon are not aligned they have to be aligned in order for you to see an eclipse correct so i don't have to be a fucking astrophysicist to understand this and neither do you. I'm trying to get this out to as many people as I can. Please share this because, I mean, this is just a no-brainer. These, these heavenly bodies are changing. They are not where they should be. And they damn sure will not show you an eclipse in the sky if they are not aligned. I mean, that makes common freaking sense to me. 
That makes common sense to me. I mean, how the hell is, is this happening? There's no possible way, right? Yeah, there is. It's CERN. CERN is doing this, allegedly. They're going in and they're just saying, you know what? I don't give a damn where, where the moon is, man. It's going to be there today. That's basically how I look at it. They're like, man, I don't care where the moon is or what y'all talking about. Well, guess where it's going to be tomorrow? Over the sun. How? Because they I, I, don't worry about it. It's going to be right in the middle. It, it, it's because the sun moving real far back tomorrow. Oh, wait, what do, what do you mean? No, this is going to be real far back. Don't worry about it. The, the moon just going to move in between the earth and the sun, and the sun just going to go way far back, and that's why it's going to look small. Wait, what are you talking about? No, no, don't worry about it. The moon is just going to be bigger because it's going to be closer. The sun going to be further back. So don't worry about it. It's just an eclipse. Stay in your house. State of emergency. Makes no fucking sense, right? <laughs> when I put it like that, it makes no sense, right? That's exactly what they're telling y'all, man. Come on. This is not what the hell you think it is. Like, come on. This is not just this is not an eclipse. Allegedly, but allegedly it is, right? This is not an eclipse, but allegedly it is, right? I don't know. Y'all tell me, could I be, am I on the money? Am I on to something right here? Am I on to something right here? Let me see. Let me, where's the next video I want to, okay, here we go. This is where, I, I want to go here. This is where, now it's been, a, now we're going to enter like the second part of the show. I still got some videos in the first part, but I'm going to leave this right here for now because I want to, I want to kind of get into a different topic. So we about to have a different conversation. Let's get to it. Y'all ready to, to start getting into some deeper shit? Let's talk about this. We're looking at the sun again this morning. Today's date is March the 24th, 2024. I captured this on March the 20. Uh, Can y'all see it? Look at this. 20th at 7 a.m. Look at this, y'all. What is going on here, y'all? Y'all tell me what's going on right here. And the time now is almost 8 o'clock, and we have the sun looking like this again. Um, again, there's a planet underneath it. We're here in lower Alabama. Sorry, guys, trying to zoom in. And it's still pulsating really strongly like it was the other day. So, yeah. I'm trying to zoom in, you guys, to see how it's still pulsating. And it's even pulsating like this, even to the naked eye. I'm trying to get it closer. Sorry, you guys. I'm zooming in and zooming out, trying to get it. There we go. And my son. That's weird, right? It's just some weird shit going on. Like I said, man, tomorrow, they messing with some stuff, man. Tomorrow is going to be a hell of an experimental day for them. They finna go in and, and, and do some experimenting let's let's go let's go to this video now let's listen to this what else y'all got for us i'm sorry what it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on monday as deborah ross was telling us it's going to be a transformer what the fuck is an eclipse earthquake i'm sorry what it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on monday Anyone who's in the area of totality is going to be in. It could be a possible eclipse earthquake tomorrow, y'all. There, there's going to be a possible eclipse earthquake. They're not telling y'all. Listen to this. I'm sorry. What? Maybe, maybe just take the day off just to be on the safe side. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. Tomorrow, y'all, I, I ain't going outside. I'm going to be real. I ain't going outside. Uh, after 2 o'clock, I'm staying in the house for the rest of the day. I'm, I, I'm at 2 o'clock. I'm shutting it down for the day. I ain't entering outside no more past 2 o'clock tomorrow. I don't know what the hell is going to be out there or what y'all got planned, but uh, nah, I ain't. I ain't feeling this. I'm going to be real, man. I ain't, I am not feeling this. I feel like y'all are up to something. I feel like I just feel like y'all are y'all are definitely y'all doing some shit, man. Y'all definitely got some extra shit going on, man. Let's get to the next one. Let's get to the next one. All right, let's go. Let's get to this next video. 
Many people are talking about April 8th and the great eclipse that's happening over the United States of America. There's a lot of things that are very interesting about that eclipse, but one of the things that we know for sure, it will not end with the rapture of the church. The rapture of the church can't happen until a certain amount of things take place. Starting with Daniel's 70th week found in Daniel 9:27, a peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians, which will lead to a sharing arrangement on the temple. Today is April 3rd. There's no way they're going to get a peace agreement before the 8th. So we know that that's not going to happen. Another thing that will happen before the rapture of the church is the man of sin will be revealed. This is found in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 3 and 4. Jesus says in Matthew 24, 15 through 21, that when that happens, it's the event called the abomination of desolation. When that man of sin is revealed, then the great tribulation will start. Matthew 29 through 31 says immediately after those days, the sun will be dark and the moon shall not give her light. The stars will fall from the sky. Jesus will appear and he will gather his church in the cloud. Now, I've just given you a lot of information, but my point is the rapture will not happen on April 8th. Yeah, April 8th is not the day it's going to happen, but I guarantee you it's the day that everybody better wake the fuck up. I, I guarantee you that it's the day that everybody better wake up. That That is the day. So let's get back into this scary-ish. Let's get back into this scary side of things, y'all. Let's listen to this. Total eclipse of the sun on Monday will draw unchecked crowds in public places that should be considered terror targets. And also local authorities need to be prepared for drug overdoses as eclipse viewers try to enhance their experience. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. What do I have to do? I can't make this stuff up, y'all. There's no way I could be up here making this up, man. This, all, this is the news telling y'all all this stuff. Hey, man, hey, be preparing for some drug overdoses tomorrow, y'all, right? It's going to be a lot of people doing drugs, all right? So let's get these, uh, listen to what they're telling you. Considered terror targets, and also local authorities need to be prepared for drug overdoses as Eclipse viewers try to enhance their experience. Man, are they hyping this up or what, guys? I mean, it's getting so ridiculous, but this just came out today. U.S. Intel warns of potential terrorist threat at gatherings after the Moscow attack. The U.S. Intelligence Bulletin warns that ISIS operates worldwide and so-called lone wolves might respond to recent statements. Okay, um, so we have that. What do y'all think about this? <laughs> I told y'all I can't make this stuff up. It's going to be something is going on and they're not telling y'all. They just Okay, look, y'all listen to clips. Then I keep trying to get back to the fact that allegedly this eclipse is like impossible. It's kind of impossible for this to be happening right now because it's like the sun and the moon shouldn't even be aligned enough to do this. And why is the sun going to travel so far away tomorrow all of a sudden? And what are you talking about? Like, first of all, the, the how you're making it sound doesn't even make sense. Then, you OK, let's just say you're right. Let's just say the sun and the moon are perfectly aligned and tomorrow is an eclipse. OK, so why are you sending rockets up there? Number one, why are y'all going to do this matter thing all of a sudden? And then tomorrow just has to be the day and CERN is relaunching tomorrow. Why is all this going on? Why it, Why do we need to stay home? Why is there a state of emergency? Why are there military force? What is going on? Like, what are y'all not telling us? Because obviously there's something going on and we don't need all this for an eclipse. We didn't all seen eclipses before. We didn't see an eclipse. What the fuck y'all talking about? Attack in Moscow on 322 right um u.s intelligent agencies warned about this a couple weeks in advance now we have all of this hype for april 8th i mean could be a big nothing burger for sure but uh man they are just hyping this up the fear mongering is insane i get it i understand why people comment on, on my videos oh you're fear mongering because they don't watch the videos fully they don't understand this is a Christian channel and that we are all looking unto, unto the Lord, right? But, um, man, just so much going on right now. And I'm not sure about you guys, but this right here is the messaging of some type of an attack, possibly. Um, now, we also have the idea of earthquakes and portals opening up with CERN and NASA shooting rockets, whatever is going on with that. But... Like I said, CERN got their own agenda. NASA got their own agenda. 
they're all doing something. There's a huge experiment going on tomorrow, and they do not want no one else to know exactly what's going on. And like I said, they are going to discover the God particle, and allegedly there's something going on with this this Hell's Comet, and so they're shooting rockets at Hell's Comet, allegedly. Or I don't know, fam. It, it this shit is spooky. They they are pushing this narrative big time especially with the southern border issue people coming on over oh yeah i forgot that part because there's supposed to be something coming tomorrow like that, that can harm everything and they're shooting rockets at that they're not tell that's why i think they another reason why they uh making it completely dark so they can see this shit because it's something that's supposed to be attacking tomorrow and it's supposed to be from up there somewhere it's something coming and they're not telling everybody about it but that's why they're shooting something at it because it's supposed to be something coming to harm i don't know fam y'all just keep listening this is some weird shit just ripe just ripe for yeah it's called hell's comet but hell's comet is i don't know what the why are they not telling y'all the truth though something to go down but uh a devil's comment my bad devil's comment no matter what happens we know who to trust in we know the end game we can focus our eyes upon jesus to be calm to be cool to have peace that surpasses all understanding during these crazy times, okay, guys, like, do not allow these fear mongers to steal your joy. No matter what happens, we have eternal life in Jesus. Like, let that process for a second. This existence right now is a grain of sand in all eternity, a drop in the bucket of the ocean. Don't allow this fear mongering to scare you. No matter what happens next week, no matter what, you got the Lord, you got the living God inside of you the holy spirit you're the temple of god rest in that truth saints and now with that truth allow it to go forth go love on some people go preach the gospel boldly and with confidence don't care what other people think don't allow the, the world to gaslight you this world is crazy not you and go share the gospel go love on people no matter what happens next week this summer election year whatever this world is going to continue to fall apart but we have the blessed hope and that is the return of our king and we can rest in him so focus upon him i love you guys all so much god bless and remember the just shall live by faith and i believe everybody should pay attention to that message no matter what the hell happens man it, it don't matter just know that you're gonna be good you ain't got nothing to worry about as long as you know who, what side of the fence you're supposed to be on and where you at so to all my people i know where we at Let, let's keep on let's let's see let's see let's see let me get to the next one because there's so much bro like i, I want to cover it all i'm trying to i'm trying to get the most important stuff for sure though so let's continue just by displaying a solar eclipse on the screen before beyonce is shown on the screen with the light revolving around her the solar eclipse imagery is actually used by occultists to symbolize a start of a massive change the pagans used to wait for solar eclipse in order to perform sacrifices while other civilizations saw the eclipse as a signal of the end times we then see what appears to be a portal in the middle of the stage with beyonce's face shown in the middle of it they then show an image of beyonce laying on her side on the screen as she slowly turns into a robot this is supposed to represent a rebirth as she y'all listening to this Th th this is B and beyonce put it out remember she was doing the portals and all that shit with the renaissance and it now look at it she was speaking it into existence she knew what was to come even states during the intro welcome to my renaissance my rebirth the screen then transitions into a portal that shows beyonce riding a pale horse which is death another portal appears and then we see what appears to be a fallen angel riding a rocket into a city this is obvious apocalypse riding a rocket into a city what city can y'all think that could be listen to this shit going on man she went to a portal end up on a rocket going into a city look you can't make it up. Imagery. And it's interesting to see Beyonce putting this imagery out there while we are witnessing everything that's happening around us. She literally showed the pale horse, which represents death, and then showed the fallen angel riding a rocket into a city. Yep, and that is actually in the Bible. So why do they take things from the Bible? Why is Beyonce so blasphemous, man? That chick right there. She also had the Baphomet on, man. See, it, it's shit like that, man. It's shit like that. Let's continue, though, man. We're not done. We're not done, man. I, I got I got I got more to cover, man. We're not done. Let's go. Okay, so it's Sunday, and this is the last warning I'm gonna give you guys about what's going to happen on April 8th, 
2024. I have to warn you about this because this starts right now. What I'm getting ready to tell you, everyone in America, you need to listen to this video because this starts today, Sunday. Tomorrow's the eclipse. Today, Sunday. It's the wee hours of the morning. I'm going to tell you something. It's going to sound strange. And if you do not understand this, um, you cannot say I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't tell you, I didn't warn you. Starting right now, you are going to see individuals out in the world right now staring at the sky just like this. Frozen, okay? These individuals' eyes will be pitch black. The entire eyeball will be black. Are y'all listening to this? And I told y'all it's going to be some the energy under the moonlight is going to be different from now on. They will be frozen in a, in a moment. Not for an entire time, but for a long while. Okay? Hear me out. Do not touch them. Do not say nothing to them. Do you understand me? When you see... It's already happening in Texas. It's happening in the other states right now that are along that corridor. Do not touch these individuals. Do not look at them. Do not say nothing to them. You, you heard it here first. I'm going to leave it at that. Man, man, man. So he's going to leave it right there. Then the shit cut out. But yeah, just leave it like that, man. Uh, Yeah. As y'all see, it's going to be some stargazers. It's going to be a lot going on tomorrow, man. It's going to be some people tonight un under the moonlight. It's going to be some people tonight under the moonlight trying to get right. It's going to be a lot going on, man. We're not done. Man. Let's continue to cover this. man. We got 2,000 people in here. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Saints, did you not notice this word totality that's being used by NASA and the media and the map path and what it means? Let's break that down and explain the definition of what totality actually means. The definition of totality is the whole of something. Mm. The totality of their current policies. You think of the current policies that have been put in place with the current administration who have turned their backs against the nation of Israel with their current policies and they've distanced themselves as there's about to be a false world peace coming from Washington, D.C., leading up and coming on the 8th about to be declared to the world which is a fulfillment of first thessalonians chapter 5 verses 3 for when they'll shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction if we look at the sums of the other words if from the definition it can give us a bigger meaning as entireness entirety means completely as completeness is the fulfillment of the Gentiles until the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, according to Romans chapter 11, verses 25, for the end of dispensation of grace, ending on this day. As the fullness can be referred to from Joel 3, 13, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. For the Lord is about to harvest the wheat in Matthew 13, 30, in the parable of the separation of the wheat and the tares. Come get you down for the press is full. The flow are y'all understanding is everybody following along i want to make sure everybody is, is tuned in and, and paying attention drop the gems if you understand exactly what's going on right now and and the use of the word totality that they keep throwing out there like totality why, why, why do they keep throwing that word out it's over fat overflow for their wickedness is great the wickedness being that the land of israel is about to be departed according to joel chapter 3 verses 2 when he will bring them bound into the valley of Jehoshaphat and sit there and plead with my people of Israel and for they have departed my land. As inclusiveness means including everyone. Like, you know, it's going to be an inclusiveness when the Lord comes because everyone, every eye shall see and every eye, um, ear shall hear the trumpet going off and the Lord coming, descending down from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel in First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses uh, 4 and 15. As we can also take the words of fullness and completeness and also um, combine them in understanding that this would be talking about Ephesians chapter 4, verses uh, 12 to 13, where it says, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the statue, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ, come, which would be the body of Christ becoming the bride of Christ and being all... Um, all being uh, coming together in unity in, in the clouds. The definition of whole, total, sum, and sum total 
in an amount of money that is paid at one time, a single sum of money. If you understand the prophecy in ta Daniel chapter 11, verses 39, um, it will tell you at the end that there will be a character or a man who will come out as he will be the one declaring the peace and safety on the day of the Lord. Ah, there it goes. Because that has to happen in order for him to return anyway. Somebody got to be revealed. And y'all know who that is. Y'all can say it in the chat. Y'all know somebody has to be revealed, right? And it's going to come here pretty soon. A man of peace. On April the 8th, um, it states that he shall divide the land for gain, the land being the land, holy land of Israel, um, which is the a breaking the everlasting covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and selling it for financial gain, which involves money, which would be a total loan sum, a large amount of money. As these final words state, beginning and end, alpha and omega, be all, end all, all, everything. If you all remember the Av and the Tav that has been spotted in the Eclipse map also is declaring with the lines that are going straight through Mystery Babylon America that it, this is the uh, beginning, the beginning and the end. And this is the end of end of dispensation of grace that he is clearly marking out on this date as you all are about to witness the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Salute Jackie Martin. I appreciate you for that two piece. Uh, Grumpy, I appreciate you for that two piece. TBR, I appreciate you for that five piece. Salute, salute, salute. Like I told y'all, man, it's gonna be a lot going on now. Y'all starting to pay attention. I see, I see a few people starting to wake up in this building. It's some people starting to wake up, and we're not done yet, though, man. We still got some shit to cover, man. We're we not done at all yet because I want y'all to pay attention to this next video because this, let's see, let's see. I want y'all to pay attention to this. Listen to this. Let's go. Oh, this one is weird, guys. This one is big. Oops. First things first, guys. Tiki talk. This is only for purely entertainment purposes. Only all things stated here. Ha! Speculation. Just goofing around. Having fun. A little bit of new boot goofing. Let's go. Y'all, I know I am not the only person that has been drawn to the old Black Hole Sun song by Soundgarden from 1994 with recent events like the PMO, the disorder where people are seeing faces turn into demonic faces right in front of them. Like so, like that, where all patients describe the exact same thing. Elongated faces, smiles, eyes, pointy ears, deep grooves on their faces, but overall an elongated face. Doctors are now trying to cover this up by calling it a new mental disorder, PMO. Long word, I'm not going to be able to say it. And the strange correlation to these faces that people are now seeing to the faces in the video for Black Hole Sun. Couple that with the upcoming eclipse and the current black hole that we have in our sun. People have every right and reason, and just like myself, have been drawn to revisit the 1994 song and video as well. Y'all, and a black hole is in the sun allegedly. What is what? What does this all mean, y'all? Can somebody in the chat tell me what does this all mean? Black hole in the sun. You going for portals? You trying to time travel? You trying to find the God particle? Like why? What? What? What does this mean? What? Why would you even go do all of these things? I, I don't understand, man. I'm so confused. When I'm here to tell you, during my deep dive, I accidentally dove too deep. Something told me to watch the video and screenshot every second by second that I could. And y'all, just one of the pictures that I accidentally got sent chills all the way down my spine. And I stumbled upon two or three things that I'm not sure anybody yet has stumbled upon. And to be honest, I've been looking at these clips, these hours of clips for days now, and there's still some things I cannot decipher or make out. But first, let's go through the obvious symbolism of the video of Black Hole Sun. Here's the album cover clearly focusing on, whoop, an eclipse. But I'm going to need you to remember exactly how the singer Chris Cornell looked. On another edit of the album cover, here is this down below. When flipped upside down, you find this. A scene that looks like a forest with, uh-oh, what is that up top? Does that look like, my friends, a UFO? And when zoomed in, does that, my friends, look like an alien, an alien himself? The lyrics, in my eyes, indisposed, in disguises, no one knows, hides the face, lies the snake, and the sun is my disgrace. Sounds a little bit like, well, PMO, these demons that are within people and now are suddenly, well, I don't know, people are able to see them. Just like the eerily similar faces of PMO that Chris Cornell and Soundgarden shared in their video, Black Hole Sun, 30 years ago in 1994. As throughout the music video, all of the characters, normal people, their faces begin to morph and begin to look like this. Hmm, look familiar? PMO. The video begins with different religious denominations all saying the same thing. The end is near. Oh, does that sound familiar, my friends? Hmm? But we soon see that even some of the religious leaders, their faces begin to morph and showing the demons within them. Like so, like that. One of the religious leaders is feeding milk to a baby goat, which in the Bible we know, the goat and the sheep, 
that we will be separated, the sheep from the goat. The sheep, the compassionate ones, will sit on the right-hand side of God and find salvation. And the goats, the hard-hearted ones, will sit on the left side and be sent to damnation. Clearly, this pastor giving milk to goats is showing that a lot of these religions are teaching people, well, false things. Changing. Mm. Uh, there you go right there. Now I hope y'all are starting to wake up because you start to see all these T.D. Jakes churches and these mass churches. What are they really telling y'all? Because T.D. Jakes has a very interesting take on certain topics. And I'm not going to get into those topics because I don't want to get canceled. I'm just saying if a man in, in his position probably shouldn't have the opinions he has, but he is a paid man who got paid off and he's here to throw an agenda. They've been playing in our face for too long and it's going to be time they answer. I'm just saying the answers are we going to get some answers and we're going to get some get right. They may think they can go find the God particle. Hey, by all means, if that's what you feel you need to do, I don't, I mean, I can't control it. It's out of my pay grade. I just don't think that people should go messing with particles that created everything. Because if that created everything, it means it created you. And if you think you can get the power and be better than what created you, I'm afraid of you. Scriptures and even the Bible itself to appease, well, current days. That's a no-no. Throughout the video, we see multiple characters. But did you realize each of these characters represent one of the seven deadly sins? The little girl plowing through her ice cream represents gluttony. As we clearly see here, she is overindulged. This woman represents envy as she is using one of those exercise belts while creepily watching some very buff man in front of her working out. Now, remember how one of those pastors' faces was demonic? Well, he actually represents one of the seven deadly. And that's how they said everybody going to be looking when they look up into the sky with the black eyes and the, and the demon face. If you look into that eclipse. Lessons, greed. As one of those greedy televangelist people that take money from his congregation purely for himself. We've got greed. Sloth represented here by mother and son just sitting on the couch, being lazy. These two boys burning insects, they represent wrath. As they apparently find great joy in the killing of innocent, well, bugs. This gentleman represents pride, and also pride is vanity. At first glance, you might assume it would be her that would have pride, but there is far more to her than meets the eye. And coming in hot as the seventh of the seven deadly sins, we've got lust, or specifically bestiality. But yep, we got lust. But Urch, let's get back to this gal because she represents a whole different category of evil. A category you may most often find, I don't know, in California, like celebrities, the elite. She is a reminder that not everything and everyone is what meets the eye. As this sunbathing bombshell beauty is actually, oh, what's that? A reptilian, a reptile. As her tongue goes out to capture an insect, she's just a reminder of one of the fallen angel categories. The one of many, but this one, reptilians. So now we've covered the basics of the seven deadly sins, but there's another lady with an elongated face doing something in her kitchen to a fish. Oh, yes, this woman with her fish. And she's about to, I don't know. And look at that face. And didn't they tell y'all everybody going to be looking like this? I, I'm not making this stuff up, bro. They said everybody going to have demon face. And come on, man, this is the same shit that's going to happen. Cut off its head. Kill it. Slay it. Be rid of it. The symbolism here, yo, it is deep. Do you know what a fish actually symbolizes? Not only does the fish represent Christianity, but it also represents Pisces as well. AD 2150, with the story of the birth of Christ coinciding with this date, many Christian symbols for Christ use the astrological symbol for Pisces, the fish. It also represents the persecution of the church. Pisces represents the persecuted church in all generations, and it's liberator who will come and set them free. So by her making the act of almost killing the fish, it is basically representing the church and the persecution of the church. Can't say that which makes what is about to happen to the fish in the music video just before she slays it all that much more symbolic in this video and what is about to come. So I don't know, what would you call it when all of the Christians narrowly escape persecution and death here in the end of days? One might call it the rapture. And that's what the middle of the, uh, that's what the middle of the eclipse is going to be in the rapture. Allegedly, the middle of the eclipse is in a city called the Rapture. And as in the video, we watch the fish slip out of her grip and away from harm. It is exactly symbolic in this music video of that, the Rapture, which explains all of the scenes with this bright glowing flash that happens in front of these people with demonic faces. This, my friends, is symbolic of the Rapture. I also find it funny that only this one and this one, and maybe the guy in the black leather I can't see, are the only ones that did not get raptured up. I have a whole nother theory on the other one that was feeding the goat, but that's a whole nother video. I'll get to that another day. And if anybody was questioning that this was a rapture in the video, this moment with a mother and child should, well, answer that question right here. 
It's just like that in the twinkling of an eye and a bright flash. Just before her mother's eyes, the baby is raptured up and gone, leaving the mother alone, horrified, startled, and probably confused, but still leaving the mother, obviously a sinner, behind. But here's where things get weird, guys. I have this ability, and in fact, it was weird. I was talking to my brother in Christ, Whitley, the other day just about this exact very thing. I have an ability that I believe many in this world have where you can see faces and even words in surfaces, like walls, on floors, etc., and it was in those moments that I was looking through the rapture pictures, the black hole sun photos from the video. Upon first glance, I noticed instantly that there were hidden words and even numbers in the pictures frame by frame. Check it out. Well, before we get to that, I believe this part of the video is the rapture. You see all of the people down below reaching up like, wait, 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 what about me? Man, I'm telling you, this is some spooky shit, y'all. What do y'all think about this video and all this stuff? Man, I'm telling y'all, this is what's about to, I mean, hey. We're going we gonna to be able to witness all this shit, maybe, because it may come sooner than you think. But in pictures of this, I can see an F, an N, an L. I can see letters, an A. But it's in the black hole sun parts of the video that really, really did blow my mind. I got confirmation my hunch was right that there are hidden things all throughout this video when I could clearly see the drummer is hidden in this design. Here is his back, his head, his hard hat, not hard hat, high hat, and a bunch of his drums. Take a look. Boom, there he is. Guys, they have words hidden throughout all of this video. Literal messages. In fact, there's even numbers, maybe specific dates hidden in their video as well. As I was busily going through hundreds of clips of the second by seconds that I screenshot during the video, I noticed undeniable words throughout most of these pictures of this eclipse. This one by far drove me the most insane because I could see the most in this one by far. There is definitely something written down along here. Like you're of rest or something like that. Do you see that? But something that also struck my attention was the number four and the number eight is scattered all throughout this picture. Four, eight. What is four, eight, y'all? Can anybody tell me what four, eight is? What is four, eight? Why do they, there's an eclipse in this video that I've been telling y'all to pay attention to with all the demon faces and the black eyes. And there's a total eclipse going on here. And they got the numbers four and eight plastered all over the eclipse. <laughs> April 8th. Tomorrow. Stay woke, gang. Take a look. Screenshot. Keep it. Blow it up. Look for yourselves. You can see the number four here, 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 all the way around. But this one right here actually says four, eight. And as you can see, there's a bunch of eights all around. Eight, eight. See, y'all? I can't make this up. God's angel of serenity says black hole means God will allow darkness to overtake you if it means teaching you to trust him rather than your own power, smarts, or goodness. Hey, I, I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Eight right there, too. This one caught my attention the most, as did this four and the four above it. You can even see an eight by that four. But there are literally words and numbers hidden throughout this entire video. Hidden words and hidden messages strategically placed all throughout the scenes, especially those of the eclipse. And the most prominent message I could find was 4-8. I don't know, like April 8th. But two letters I noticed inside of the eclipse that really caught my attention the most were C-G. Obvious, and you can clearly see it. C-G. It's literally in the middle of most of the eclipse pictures. And when I told you I was shook, I am shook. I googled pictures of the black hole on our sun currently, and I found this. Looks like a G and a C to me. I have an actual photo of our sun and a black spot on it from last year. And that's the photo of the sun from last year. There's a black hole allegedly in the sun, and they got the letters G and C allegedly. This is some weird, spooky shit, y'all. I noticed something else very peculiar right here. Almost looks like Roman numerals, like a V and three I's. Then Roman numeral for eight, the G, the C, and the eight. Now, remember, I told you I captured something else on accident. In just a split second of a screenshot, I captured this. Naked eye wouldn't see this in the video. This is Chris Cornell and potentially the demon within him. I've known that the And could this secret about the potential eclipse and maybe even the rapture be the reason for his untimely unaliving in May 18th, 2017? Or could it have been Chris's way of warning us that the April 8th eclipse is actually the 40-day warning to repent? Perhaps Chris, like myself and even Homer Simpson, miscalculated. Is he too one day off of the May 19th rapture? What did Chris know that we didn't know 30 years ago? Sure seems to be a lot correlating with our current events with PMO, the eclipse, and the black hole on our sun. 
did Chris unalive himself out of guilt or as a warning, trying to warn us of the rapture, but like many miscalculated by one day, by unaliving himself on May 18th for the potential May 19th rapture? You tell me. Man, that's some spooky shit, right? That's crazy. And that's a twisted end to that story. I'm telling y'all, there's a bunch of weird shit that's about to happen, man. I don't know, man. Maybe y'all are getting scared. Maybe y'all are... Maybe y'all are not. I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe you are not. Let's see. Let's get to the next. Let's get to the next one. Let me find this next video. No, that ain't the one I want. I'm trying to find the next one because I'm trying to keep it to to all the important sh stuff that I need to uh, talk about. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me load up this one. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get into CERN. I got I to gotta talk more about CERN, y'all. Let's get back into CERN. Let's go. Right. There is something more supernatural on the drawing board at CERN than what is being admitted. Even Adam Barker of Tech Bubble wrote of CERN a while back that with the LHC, CERN are expecting to find other dimensions and open portals to these dimensions. Like I told y'all, they're trying to go find dimensions and they're trying to open up portals to different dimensions tomorrow. They needed to be completely dark and they got the tools that they need for the perfect time. And the perfect time is April 8th. And they just feel like they can pull out these machines and grab these particles and get into these portals and they can time travel tomorrow. They feel like they've made it to the point where they know how to time travel. They can capture the particles that require basically solving what created the earth and they will have the power of what i mean the earth i keep saying earth the world the universe the everything who created all let's just say they, they created everything created all if you get the power of create the creation of all in your hands what the hell can you think you can do with it that's scary uh if you have the image of stargate in your head right now you're spot on that's what it said and then he went on to draw parallels to the biblical story of Jacob's ladder. Um, perhaps you remember the dream that says, behold, there was a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Get the likes up, y'all. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you smash the like button, man. What do y'all think of this, man? Then Jacob wakes up from his sleep and he says, surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. Um, and he was afraid. And he says, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Genesis 28. Hmm. Man, man, man. Now this ladder uh, described in the first book of the Bible describes something like a portal from heaven to earth through which God's angels, interdimensional and spiritual beings from another reality were traveling and that's what they're trying to do tomorrow could they be possibly trying to enter like, could they be trying to like enter like heaveners i don't know what they think they finna do with these portals and you don't even know if you hit a portal you don't know what the hell is on the other end of that portal and you might stumble into some shit you never thought you you would stumble upon but i don't know i'm not going into no portal um when jacob wakes up he refers to the location as a gate much like today's trendy terms gateway or stargate uh, one of Serm's goals is to recreate Jacob's ladder, according to uh, Mark, and to reopen a portal. Now, Sergio Bertolucci, who is the official director for research and scientific computing at CERN, he was asked a while back about this extra-dimensional doorway by The Register, which is a London and New York-operated science and technology journal. And he didn't hesitate with an enlightening response. He said, yes out of this door might come something or we might send something through it see what i mean something might come from this door or we might send something through it they are trying to portal hop man now prophecy in numerous parts of the bible refer to a coming day when portals will be open and spiritual entities are going to pass through and do y'all hear that portals are going to be here tomorrow they will have portals out 
and people going to be going through them. Come to the earth. Now, and things are going to be coming over here tomorrow. That's true. And if those verses are accepted, Allegedly. accepted for their literal meaning and not written off as some kind of poetic allegory, as some scholars have claimed, then the idea of CERN playing with gateways is a major concern. Like I said, it's, I'm very concerned about it. You playing with everything at this point. I'm afraid. I'm going to be real. I am I am afraid of that shit. I don't know what y'all got going on or what the hell is on the other end of these portals that y'all finna open up, man. I am scared. I don't want nothing to do with it. I ain't going through no damn portals. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's get to... No, no, no. I don't want that one. Let's get to this next one right here. Uh, let's go. Let's go to this one. Let's try this one. All right, yeah, let's try this one. All right, let's go to this one, y'all. I got another one. Let's go. Things now. Why is this so important? Because CERN is about to start up the Hadron Collider, ladies and gentlemen, on April eighth, on the day of the biggest solar eclipse in American history, where millions of people are flying from around the world. They are going to collide this. These hadron uh, atoms, these protons, these electrons are going to be collided on this day. Now, why in the world would they choose uh, April 8th to do this? I have no idea. But this company is creepy on every level. And I'll tell you why. Not only is uh, CERN in CERN, Switzerland, uh, but I want, I want to show you this because this is cause for in my opinion, a cause for alarm. And here's why. If you take a look at where it's actually at, okay, a large portion of CERN is located in the territory of St. Genus Poli, probably not pronouncing that right. In Roman times, it was called Apollicum. The town and the temple were dedicated to Apollyon, the destroyer. So this is ancient Horus. This is Shiva. The town Apollyon literally is dedicated to the god of destruction. Now that's CERN. That's CERN, the people who are coming out with this machine tomorrow to gather the god particle. That's where their headquarters are, right there in the town of destruction. These are some evil people grabbing their hands on this shit. They are some of the creators of the World Wide Web. Every, everything you know and you know online uh, these people got the power to do a lot of stuff i don't even know if y'all know who they are the god of chaos the destroyer and this and this entire hadron collider is a collider is right in the middle of apollyon now why is that so important because if you go to the book of revelation this is what we read it says in chapter 9 verse 1 2 and 11 to him was given the keys of the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and they and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue, his name is Apollo. Now, you might not find that just a coincidence. And they got some spooky ass music playing in the background. Spooky ass music. It's like, bro, but listen, to, you just got to listen to the message, man. It's, it's all this. It is. But the fact that they're, they've got this Hadron Collider which some people, even very, very important scientists, are scared out of their mind of what is going to happen. Now, CERN will tell you on their website, we have no intention of doing anything wrong. Who has intention of blowing up the world? Who has intention of accidentally cracking open a time-space continuum and having something on the other side? Well, I believe they're not telling the full truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So take a look at this quote straight from the director of research at CERN concerning the exact purpose of this Hadron Collider. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this, okay? Pay attention, y'all. Listen to this. Quote, something may come through dimensional doors at LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. And out of this door might come something or we might send something through it. So again, this is what the director of research at CERN says about what they're doing tomorrow. Something may come through dimensional doors at LHC. And out of this door might come something or we might send something through. So they're going to open they're going to be dimensional doors that, that they're basically they're saying 
we have the power and we know how to go get these. We know how to open up portals. So we're going to go open up a portal and a door is going to appear. Something's going to appear, a little circle or whatever. It's going to be something that appears. And we either going to send something through that motherfucker. If, some, if something don't come through our end, we sending something over there. So we finna figure it out, allegedly. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of CERN. They tell you it's all for scientific research. No, they're looking for the God particle. They want to know what's holding the universe together. And ultimately, they're trying to get into time travel. They want to open up the curtain of what is behind our dimension and get into the multiverse. This is what they're after. They believe there are multiple universes uh, happening and in, in, in parallel to one another simultaneously. And they want to tear that open. And they know that something has, has the potential of coming through it. Now, we just read out of the book of Revelation that the Apollyon comes out, that the doors of the deep, are the gates are opened up and crazy things come out of the deep. Now, what do y'all think is going to, if we open up a damn portal, what do you expect to come back? Or you say, what do you think is on the other side? Some more shit. Just know that whenever they see us, they're going to be like, oh, shit, it's some more shit. We're going to see them. Oh, it's some more shit. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, hell, they probably already know we over here. We finna open up a portal, but we ain't gonna know what the hell on the other end. Man, I don't know what the fuck. Y'all finna open up the gates of H-E double hockey sticks. I mean, I, I know it's already hell on earth, but damn, y'all finna open up the gates to some evil stuff. Could it possibly be? Would it be that much of a stretch to say that maybe we're the ones that do it? Maybe in our effort in mankind to find a wormhole, to get into Star Trek world, to discover more and more and more and more like the Tower of Babel, that eventually maybe we actually do open up the space-time continuum. We open up the doors of the second dimension and the demonic realm comes alive onto this earth. It's very possible. They just said... It's very possible, y'all. Yeah. It's very, very possible. That's exactly what they know is possible. So for what's really fascinating is evolution is dead. The scientists at the highest level now know there is a spiritual realm. There is another dimension beyond ours, and they're trying to tap into it. That's exactly what they're trying to do. They know it's a dimension. They finna get the power to go tap into this dimension. Well, they already got the power. They finna release the power to go tap into this dimension. And I don't know what y'all think is finna it's finna come from this, but it's definitely something fishy about this CERN place. It's definitely something fishy about this CERN place. Salute nothing nice on that 20 piece. I appreciate you, nothing nice. Salute, salute. So y'all don't think it's motherfucking weird, dog. April 8th, 2024, the relaunch of CERN. They starting that motherfucker back up. Look. That's some wild shit. The same day as the motherfucking eclipse. And look at the logo of CERN. Don't that look like 666? Don't the logo of CERN look like three sixes in the mix? I can see three sixes. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can see one, two, three. It looks like two but they if you look at how they got it combined it's three sixes in that damn logo what the fuck is really going on dog i'm tired of motherfucking mandela effects <clears throat> pardon me i'm tired of mandela effects and yes motherfucker i still got wet hair from getting out the motherfucking shower i'm sick and tired of these mother and they got the damn uh you know the statue of the baphomet whoop de whoop de whoop i forgot the name of it somebody could tell me the name of it but they got that as they logo damn there it's not the same thing but if you look at it it looks very similar and i mean not they logo but they have a statue of that at their headquarters fucking mandela effects why why the fuck we gotta keep going Shiva, there you go. Going through this bullshit. Y'all need to stop trying to be motherfucking God. Y'all want to create the Big Bang. Nah, motherfucker, I don't believe that. Y'all motherfuckers trying to bring demons out this motherfucker. Y'all trying to open up portals and bring some shit out this motherfucker. 
Y'all think we don't know. I'm so sick of these motherfucking Mandela effects. And not only that, it feel like I keep going in and out of different motherfucking realities every other motherfucking day. I'm not bullshitting. If you feel like you've been doing that, go put the shit in the comments. I'm dead ass. I'll sit something somewhere and then it's gone. Or well, something to be in my pocket. I look for it, empty out my motherfucking pockets. And then say fuck it because I can't find it. Go back in my pocket five, ten minutes later and that motherfucker be right in there. Crazy shit. There's a lot of bullshit going on. Now, I ain't talked about the motherfucking eclipse. But that shit is kind of crazy as a motherfucker too, dog. It is. I'm be rid of this eclipse stuff. is very, very weird. Especially with them talking about having a national guard and have, make sure you got gas and water and food and all these different supplies and shit. And they saying it's because it's going to be crowded every motherfucking where. But motherfucker, just in case, just because it's crowded don't mean I need to do all of that. So tell me what you really mean, dog. Hey, you motherfuckers are tripping. <clears throat> Talking about you gonna turn CERN back up. Motherfucker, bring the fruit of a loom back. I wanna go back to the reality where Chick fil A didn't have a motherfucking K. I wanna go back to the reality when the Monopoly man had a moniker on his motherfucking eye. I wanna go back to the reality where Curious George had a motherfucking tail. I wanna go back to the reality where Pikachu had that black shit on his tail. I want to go back to the reality where it said, we are the champions do, 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 of the world. I want to go back to that. I don't think we ever going to get that reality, man. I think reality as we knew it. Do you remember going to McDonald's and getting like a, a dollar Big Mac or some shit, dollar 50 or something? You know what I'm saying? It used to be cheap as hell to go eat. Man, y'all remember how cheap food used to cost? Just go back to like when you was in high school, middle school. You remember how how, how much it cost for a damn meal at McDonald's? Now look now, it's like hold on, thug man, y'all this. And when y'all think Orlando tripping when he say like you go to other places and it's like they got grapes and stuff laying around, apples and stuff. Why don't we have apple trees? Why don't we have lemon trees? Like well, I, I'm just, I've just been thinking, bro. Like everything is like vegetables and stuff grow from the earth all this stuff is from is what god gave us he gave us this stuff where is the banana trees where is the you know what i'm saying what, what the hell is going on? where is everything at we don't got shit every other country got it we what well, where the hell is ours we can't go pick nothing off no damn trees here because they finessed us we can't go back to this reality they didn't already finessed us we have to go to the grocery store and buy lemons and buy all this. We can't go pick nothing up. We can't pick nothing up fresh off the... We live in America, and you telling me we can't get fresh crops from nowhere? We got we to gotta buy every... We, there's nothing that we can just go grab. Everywhere else in the world, they can go grab something off a tree, off a bush. They can go anywhere except for... We can't grab shit. Can't pick nothing up. You pick a, a berry up, you gonna damn near get poisoned. You better not pick no berry up and eat it in no damn shit. You better not go eat no damn berries over here. I'm sick of this shit. And y'all wanna keep turning them on. Y'all gonna turn it on again. Y'all do realize this motherfucker got turned on twice, right? Yeah. I remember when they said they first was gonna turn it on. And they said they turned the motherfucker on. And then they said they never turned it on. And they're going to turn it on again. That was some years ago. And they came out with the documentary on Netflix and shit. Them doing all that satanic ass shit. And I know why. Look at that motherfucking logo. Talking about the big bang. I'm sick of that motherfucking light on my glasses. Talking about the big bang theory. Ain't no fucking big bang. And you see, this, this, is, this is some fucked up shit I'm about to say right here. They call us conspiracy motherfucking theorists. And we don't, everything we saying is a motherfucking lie. And yet, that shit's called the Big Bang Theory, and they take that shit as actual motherfucking factual. Bullshit. You motherfucking scientists need to go to where the motherfucking flames are. Y'all wanna create anti matter. 
Motherfucker, that's weird. Because we're all matter. Why you want to create antimatter? Huh? That shit don't make no damn sense. But you know, we living in some strange ass motherfucking times, dog. And we just gonna have to wait and see what the fuck happen. Cause they gonna keep opening up Pandora's motherfucking box. Dog. Damn. Peace. Man, brother. Brother, brother, brother. He over there tripping. He like, man, if they open up Pandora's box. Uh, sound like he on a damn WWE somewhere. Nah, man, but in all seriousness, man, they like I said, they over here messing with stuff they ain't got no business messing with. They ain't got no business over here messing with half the stuff they messing with. And they still going to, it's going to keep tampering with everything. I'm, I'm just afraid for this shit, man. Now, if you look at this, let's look at this next shit. Let's see. Uh, Chicago has turned on their LHC. Let's look at this. Hold on. We're not done. Do you guys see this right now? Y'all see that? Y'all see the plasma, the lightning that's going on right now? You will not believe where this is at. Wow. Y'all see that? This is in Chicago, Illinois, at this place called Fermi Lab. Fermi Lab, if you have never heard of it, this is a mini CERN. The layout is just like CERN. So this is the layout for Fermi Lab in Chicago, Illinois. And this right here is the layout for CERN in Switzerland, you guys. Y'all see? Chicago. And then this is Switzerland. So the CERN in Chicago, Illinois, just turned on their Large Hydron Collider as well. And this is what's going on over there, y'all. Check it out. So this is going to be uh, coming from the conspiracy theorists inside me right now, Max. Right where all that lightning's happening over there? It's happening right over Fermilab right now. <laughs> Which is basically the miniature version of CERN. I don't know how many times you've probably heard some crazy shit about CERN on the internet. But yeah, that's the remaining one where they... Look at that. Like that plasma going crazy, y'all. You see what's going on? Stranger Things. Y'all, I didn't even know about Fermilab. I didn't even know that we had a mini CERN in Chicago, Illinois. Were you guys aware of this? And now both of them are turning on. Y'all seen that just happened. That was yesterday. And then CERN is getting ready to turn on on April 8th for the solar eclipse. What are they trying to do, y'all? There's so much going on around this solar eclipse, you guys. How come we don't know what's going on? I feel like we're literally still in the dark with what's up with the solar eclipse, you guys. How yeah, because they're telling y'all to lock you inside because it's going to be portals. They, you go, you open up them damn doors and go outside if you want to while, they, while CERN and, do, and, and then you in one of these states of emergency and CERN over there doing this damn shit. I right, you end up in a damn portal somewhere in in a, uh, another atmosphere. You're gonna be like, what the? Hold on, what the? How the hell I end up with a damn dragon? How do you feel? But yeah, this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let us know what you guys think about this video. Man, man, man! Like I said, man, a mini CERN is over there in Chicago, Illinois. And they got it popping over there like fireworks. They got it popping over there. I'm talking about, boy, they got shit lit over there with like damn fireworks. Salute to Always Real for that 100 piece. I appreciate you for sending me that 100. Salute, salute, salute. I appreciate you so much. I really do appreciate you. And we're not done over here. Let's continue, y'all. There's a lot going on. I want to uncover it all. Let's continue. I appreciate that 100. Salute, salute. This is what's going on in Delaware right now. The Delaware Emergency Management Agency is testing their emergency sirens for nuclear stations and distributing potassium iodide tablets. This article just came out today, March 24th, 2024, Sunday, just came out, right? And they are warning the public that they are now holding this event and giving out potassium iodide. You can see here right on the and I want to show y'all that too as well. And that's just a quick little, you know what I'm saying? Look, they doing a bunch. Like, I'm just showing y'all that it's, this is all around the same time. They're doing a bunch of weird stuff. Look at they're passing out these tablets. What are y'all doing all this for? If this is just an eclipse, what are we getting so concerned? Like, what is all this prep for? If, if this is just an eclipse, 
why are we doing all this? This this uh, collider. And um, and if you listen to this, CERN now admits they are communicating with entities from the other side. This is coming from CERN, y'all. I'm not making this up. Is this came from CERN that they are communicating with entities from the other side? These are the people that are about to go get the God's particle. These beings that they're in communication with. So we're talking about the, the premier scientists on planet Earth right now who are actively engaged, according to, to their own words, communicating with something, something with a personality. Y'all listening to this? They have been communicating with something with a personality. They're about to go find out what they've been communicating with. The purpose of tomorrow is to go make they, they want to touch base fuck communicating through these whoop de whoops we gonna open up a portal and we coming through there or y'all coming through here we've already communicated this so they already know it's our this is a fact to them they know that when they open up the portal the other side is already expecting for the portal to open they've already communicated this some way somehow they've been communicating with something with a personality and they got it straight up that hey when we open this portal, either we coming to see you or you coming to see us. We need to know what's going on, allegedly. Uh, in their own words, in a, in a, from another dimension. And that's the purpose of the, uh, uh, the, the, the collider. I mean, people need to understand, this is not science fiction. This that's is correct. fact. That's correct. No, just no. None of what that person said is true. None of it. No scientists are claiming that they are using the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC at CERN, to open portals, to open dimensions, to talk to beings. None of that is true. That has nothing to do with what the LHC is about. What the LHC is, is a particle accelerator. What it does is it examines particles and creates new particles by smashing particles into each other at really high energies and speeds. This breaks the bonds in those particles and all kinds of things spin out, new particles, energies, etc. And physicists use that in order to figure out the stuff of which our universe is made. This is what they use to, for example, to verify the existence of the Higgs boson, the most you know, famous particle confirmed by the LHC so far. That's all that it does. It's not even possible for this, you know, atom smasher per se to create a doorway to another dimension or to create any kind of gateway. These things are happening on the subatomic level, way too small for anything like that to happen. It's not going to create a black hole. It's not going to open a gate to hell. No one is saying that this is science fiction. It's bad science fiction. It's complete, utter. I feel like you might be, you might work for CERN, bro. Because they already said out their mouth, this is what they're doing. So how are you going to come on there and say, nah, bro, that ain't true? How are you going to come on and say it's not true? But they saying, that, okay, we basically, we opened up. This is coming from CERN. They sell. You can't, this, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's people like that. They don't want the truth to come out. It's a lot of people who don't want the truth to come out about this shit, man. Let's keep this a buck. Uh, which one is this? No, 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 no. I don't want this one. Let's continue. Let's continue. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want y'all to listen to this. Listen to this, and this makes a lot of sense coming from a kid, though. Listen to this. This is gonna make a lot of sense. There's a reality where possibly <laughs> maybe this world didn't even occur. Maybe there's a reality where our universe instantly started and then destroyed itself there's an infinite number of possibilities but which however, is such an incredible thing to try to wrap your hand or head around it, right it's almost impossible yeah there's See, just the word infinity is almost impossible to right, really and completely then understand. again there are higher levels infinity as you'll see in the video higher levels of infinity. so yeah, infinity there, is not just infinity there's oh yeah variations there's on higher that theme. levels infinity there's smaller infinities, bigger, larger infinities. There is, it's hard to wrap your mind around that there is something larger than everything. Which is, how it's, do you... It's right? even a paradox as itself. It's an oxymorotic phrase. Um, and that's where you come back to God. Well, God could be God of the universe or the multiverse, but then... There must be another multiverse of multiverses and multiverse where there's a universe where... 
there is another more powerful or less powerful or equal God as we defined it in equals MC squared. So that, that makes a lot of sense. So let's just say there's other dimensions, right? So if there's other dimensions, would that mean there's similar things going on and there's different gods of dimensions? I don't know, bro. This is the, they're trying to find the answers to all this shit. And like I said, this is some scary stuff to even try to figure out. I'm too scared to find out about this type of stuff. I don't want to go looking for these answers. I, I'm scared as hell to what's on the others. I don't know what the hell is out there. If I'm be real. I don't want to know what's out there at all. I mean, y'all can go tell me. I'm not going to, I'm not jumping through no damn portal. I, I, I'm not going to be the one that's going to do it. So hell no, nah. y'all can go through the portals. I'm not going through no damn portal. I don't, I don't want to know. Y'all can tell me when y'all get there. Take and listen, I'm gonna because this low. I'm gonna read this. It says taking travel. They, they, they want people to travel. Hold on, listen. Taking precautions, taking precautions before traveling. Y'all need to be precautious before you travel tomorrow. If you'll be traveling around Ohio, top off your gas tanks. If you will be in Ohio, I want to. I want to say this loud because she's real low on the video. So if you're in Ohio. Make sure you top off your gas. Every time you get half half a tank in Ohio, top your gas off because tomorrow is going down. Frequently, top off your gas tanks. Frequently, frequently top off your gas tanks in Ohio. Why? I don't know. But if you're in Ohio, hey, uh, Biggie, you said you're in Ohio. I, you got it. Tomorrow when you wake up, fill your gas tank. If you drive tomorrow, every time you go somewhere, fill your gas tank up. I don't know what the hell's in Ohio. But the, she said strictly Ohio. If you're in Ohio, make sure you do that. And to fully charge their electric vehicles. And if you got a, a Tesla or something, your shit better be fully charged, they said, because they ain't going to be nowhere to charge them tomorrow. Have a preparedness kit in your car. And they said you have to prepare to get inside of your car. Have items like paper maps. Have items like paper maps. Your phones may not work tomorrow. Have items like paper maps. Now have snacks in your cars, drinks in your cars. If you'll be traveling, make sure you have a map. Uh, uh, I'm talking about a, not a map on your phone, no GPS. You need a physical map if you will be traveling tomorrow. And you need snacks and drinks in your car. Cash and a cell phone charger. You better have a cell phone charger. It's a good idea also to have a communications plan. It's a good idea also to have a communications plan, y'all. Have a communications plan. If you're traveling with your family or friends, friends in, case you're in case you get separated, have a, have a travel plan. Y'all better have y'all shit together because y'all might end up getting separated. Why she said, how y'all going to get separated? What is going on tomorrow in Ohio and shit like that? You're going to get separated. How? What the hell is going to happen? Have a place to meet up. This is about the, the eclipse tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> Why are y'all doing a press conference about an eclipse? Everyone be prepared. If you get lost, have a place to meet up. What are y'all preparing us for? Nowhere to take shelter if there's an event. You better have somewhere to take shelter if there's an event, she said. Having those discussions ahead of time are critically important. Y'all better have these discussions ahead of time, she says, critically important. To help thwart any type of confusion that may happen in large crowds. In large crowds. It's going to be large crowds tomorrow. And if you're taking your pets, take stuff for your pets because it ain't going to be nowhere to get them. Right, a bowl for water. Bowl for water. And finally, nowhere to receive. Man, man, man. Are y'all listening to this shit? This is an eclipse, right? I'm making all this up. This is an eclipse, right? All this stuff I'm just sitting here making up, right? This is this is just an eclipse and we ain't got nothing to worry about. Y'all hear Y'all hearing this shit? Man, man, man. Let's continue, y'all. I'm not done. Let's continue. Let us continue. Tomorrow is a total solar eclipse, and here's everything you need to know that's going on tomorrow. Not only do we have a very controversial total solar eclipse occurring tomorrow, NASA is going to be firing three rockets at the solar eclipse. They named the operation APEP, which is after the serpent deity. And everybody's thinking this is very sketchy of NASA to do this. Then we have CERN launching an operation where they're going to be combining two particles. 
seven miles per hour. And what is their purpose of doing this? To create dark matter, or in other words, find out how the universe was created, which goes against Christianity, because we all know who created this universe. It was Jesus Christ. By the way, this picture is from Stranger Things. I just thought it was cool to put this in because the operation that CERN is running and everything that happened in Stranger Things is kind of similar. But guys, here's the issue everybody's having with this stuff. So Sergio Bartolucci, one of the head directors at CERN, said this, something may come through dimensional doors. Out of this door might come something or we might send something through it, which is leading a lot of people to believe that they're trying to create a portal with this CERN operation. I don't know about you guys, but this all just seems so sketchy to me. The fact that they're launching three rockets at the solar eclipse and they're running a CERN operation out of all days on April 8th. I don't know, man. Something seems to be going on. I don't know what it is, though. I'm telling y'all, y'all better stay woke. It's something in the air. It's going to be something in the atmosphere tomorrow because CERN ain't playing with y'all. CERN is not playing with y'all. I already played that one. But yeah, that's how I started the show. And that was a great way to start the show, by the way. Let's continue. Not that one. Which one is this one? Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me show y'all this. Salute to Leash on that 20 piece. I appreciate you. Now, look at this. Now, look at this, y'all. Y'all think nothing going on tomorrow? Y'all think nothing going on? Look at this shit. What are they in a frenzy about? I don't know. Sharks acting weird, y'all. Look want at to this. Fall in the water right now. Look at this. Y'all think something ain't coming? Something ain't out there? If you know space, the end of space is in the ocean. If you go all the way to the bottom of the ocean, which you can't go to, and no one knows what's at the bottom of the ocean, but if you go all the way down there, what the fuck you think is going to happen? That's space. Once the ocean ends, it's space. It's, it, this is Earth, right? So at the bottom of the Earth, what is, what, is, what is below the Earth? A galaxy, right? Space. What's above the Earth? space it's on the side of the earth space so if you go all the way underneath the water it's space if you go all the way to the top it's man come on man look at this shit someone said cap there is no way it's cap if you if the earth is a circle right that's floating in space so if you go all the way to the bottom of the earth this fucking space, right? What, what the fuck else is going to be around the Earth? It's fucking space. No, there's nothing else but galaxy out there. So it, it makes perfect sense. If you hit the bottom, no one can go to the bottom of the ocean. So you can't say it's cap. You ain't never been there. You can't go. You know why? Because it's space. There's portals underneath there. There's portals underneath that water. I guess women. Look at this shit, y'all. I wouldn't want to fall in the water right now. Don't want to go swimming. What's the deal with that? I ain't never seen that either. Seen it, but that's a that's a lot of medium. Yeah, Y'all ever seen that many all at once again? Not really. Damn. That's some weird shit. They say, could that be a sign of an apocalypse approaching? Could that be signs of an apocalypse approaching us, y'all? Y'all tell me, what do y'all think, man? Like I said, it's gonna be some weird stuff you was gonna see on here tonight, man. It's gonna be some weird shit. Now let's continue. I, sh I told y'all about this earlier. Now, it's only right that I get to this point of the show and show y'all this. Look at this CERN shit, man. Now, look at this CERN shit. CERN is the birthplace of the World Wide Web. British scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the WWW in 1989 while working at CERN. The web was originally developed to allow scientists to automatically share information with each other. I rest my fucking case. I rest my case with CERN. I got nothing more to tell y'all about them. They are the creators of the internet. They created all this stuff, man. 
CERN is who you think they are. It says CERN was a, a CERN's origins can be traced to the 1940s. It says, why was CERN created? Their vision was both to stop the brain drain to America that had begun during the Second World War and to provide a force for unity in post-war Europe. Salute Boom Boom on that membership in that 10 piece. <sighs> the Collider might also shed light on the more predominant dark energy, which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. If the acceleration continues, the ultimate fate of the universe may be very, very cold, with all particles flying away from one another to infinite distances. What the fuck, yo? This shit is crazy, right? It says scientists at CERN say they have observed, uh, observed a new kind of pentacork and the first ever pair of tetraquarks. That is three more additions to the list of new hadrons found at the LHC. What are equarks? Man, this shit is, they finding all kinds of particles and shit. The process, it says, what is CERN trying to accomplish? The process, the process gives us clues about how the particles interact and provide insights to the fundamental laws of nature. We want to advance the boundaries of human knowledge by delving into the smartest building blocks of our universe. Man, 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 man. And like I said, I rest my case with CERN on that. On that note, I rest my case with CERN. Y'all are the inventors of the internet. Y'all are the creators of a lot of stuff. Now y'all want to recreate the, the, the universe. Now y'all want to recreate the universe, CERN. That's why I got an issue with that, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't think I, I don't think y'all should be doing that, man. I'm going to be real with you. I don't think y'all should be delving into the universe. If y'all want to talk about this, hit the link. If y'all want to chop it up about this, hit the link. I'm going to pin it to the top of the chat. If y'all want to chop it up about it, man, I told y'all we was going to be in for a great show tonight. I told y'all this is going to be one of them ones. So salute to uh, the chat. Hit the, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to call into the show, hit that StreamYard link. Put your username in, your email. That's how you call into the show. It's not a number. You got to hit that StreamYard link if you want to call into the show. If not, it's all good. I got this. So basically, y'all, we are in for a hell of a time tomorrow. No pun intended. But uh, 222, it all starts, y'all. It all supposed to go down at 2.22. I, I didn't, I couldn't find that damn timetable. Hold on, let me see if I can find the, uh, nobody sent it to me, I don't think. Let me go check. Did somebody send me that? It said, hold on. It, I, I had the damn timetable for when this, how everything was supposed to take place. Let me see. Solar eclipse timeline. Let me see if I can pull up the timeline. Uh, it says it will first be visible as a partial eclipse at 12.06 p.m. Central uh, near Eagle Pass, Texas. Let's see. The eclipse will begin in the U.S. on the afternoon of April 8th. It will first be visible as a partial eclipse 
beginning at 12.06 p.m. near Eagle Pass, Texas, before progressing to totality by about 1.27 p.m. CDT and progressing along its path to the northeast over the next few hours. Uh, let's see. And it says, okay, let me see. Man, man, man. So, yeah, it's supposed to be, I don't know, man. I, I had the damn thing where it's supposed to take, it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. They said the, the temperatures are going to start rising. That's the only thing it would not let me download on my damn computer for some reason. I thought I had it, but it would not let me download it. I should have screenshotted that shit. But, uh, yeah, I thought I had it, but it's all good. Y'all will see it. Y'all will see that shit tomorrow, especially if you're in one of the cities. But, hey, they said Ohio, so, something's supposed to be going down in Ohio. I ain't quite sure what's going to happen in Ohio, but something drastic is supposed to happen out there in Ohio, man. I'm going to be real. Something going on in Ohio tomorrow. Y'all better stay woke on Ohio. If you're in Ohio, be careful tomorrow. It's at that central direct time. Yeah, I think uh, it's supposed to start over here like at 2.22, I think. I had to look it up, man. It said, I wonder why Ohio. Yeah, something is going on in Ohio. It said, facts. They got National Guard there, too. Yeah, Ohio got National Guards there. It's something big in Ohio. Something, they said, we're supposed to get rain in Houston. I know Dallas is right in the middle of it. Dallas is right in the middle. Like, where is shit supposed to pop off at? Dallas is going to get, you know what I'm saying, a, a good whiff of this shit. Dallas is going to definitely get a good whiff of it. So, you might as well, if you're in Dallas, which I am, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be heavy in Dallas tomorrow. So, stay woke. So I'm definitely going to be careful. Yeah, make sure y'all staying in the house. Make sure y'all not going outside at a certain point tomorrow. Make sure you do your research on what time the, the stuff will be going on where you're at. I'm being serious, y'all. Y'all need to really, really stay stay woke, pay attention. So Jackie, definitely be careful. Yeah, make sure y'all be careful. How many, how many new subscribers do we got over here that came in tonight? Do we got any new subscribers subscribers that came over here tonight? Let me know if we got some new people over here. Raise your hands in the building if you new over here or if you just came over here recently, man. Let me know who's new over here. And if you are new, please do me a favor. Make sure you smash the like button and make sure you are subscribed to this channel, man. We have a lot of insightful content over here. We have a lot of fun over here, man. If you new over here, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe because we have so much fun over here, man. It said 12 to 258 CDT. They said, go live for us, Ratchet. You want to go live during the eclipse tomorrow? She said, go live during that eclipse for us, Ratchet. We want to chop it up with you, man. I, I, You know what? I'll go live with y'all, man, during them scary-ass hours. I'll be scared with y'all, man. We'll pop out over here. We'll go We'll go live, and we'll, we'll be scared together. Y'all want me to pop out during the eclipse? We'll pop out. We'll pop out. I'll go live with y'all. Let y'all see this shit. Man, y'all are trying to get me to go into some evil shit, man. <sighs> fuck all right i got y'all man i got y'all we'll figure it out i i, I i'll get y'all some coverage of this damn eclipse tomorrow man y'all trying to send me out in the damn portals man shit <laughs> y'all trying to send me out to the portals tomorrow man i'm gonna get y'all some coverage man i'm i'm, I'm gonna go get y'all some coverage of this damn eclipse tomorrow man shit so all right y'all make sure y'all come over here i'm gonna go out in the damn eclipse tomorrow man <sighs> How y'all talk me into this shit, man? How I get talked into going to the damn eclipse tomorrow, man? Salute to Tyra Rowe for that 10-piece McNugget. I appreciate you, Tyra. Salute, salute, salute. Man, they done talked me into going into the damn eclipse tomorrow, man. They said, let's be scared and prayed up together. Hell, y'all trying to tell me to go out there with that shit. Hell, y'all trying to get me to go to the to the damn, uh, what is that shit? To the motherfucking, uh... Sandwich now, nah. <laughs> nah. To the what's that shit called on on Netflix? I just said it. Stranger Things. Y'all trying to get me to go out to Stranger Things? Y'all trying to get me to go out to Stranger Things? And all right, man. If I get swallowed up, no Diddy. If I get swallowed up, y'all better hey, somebody better take over Ratchet Gang and 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 set this motherfucker off. Y'all better come in that portal and get my ass. But somebody from Ratchet Gang better come get me, man. <laughs> They said, don't do it, Ratchet. They said, just go live. No, Ratchet, we need you to stay home. They said, 
uh, the internet might be gone. He's good staying in the house, Ratchet. We need you. <laughs> Look directly into it and tell us what you see. Hell the fuck no, I'm not doing that shit. Hey, I'm going to get swallowed up in that motherfucker shit. I'm just going to, the, the phone just going to drop and it's going to be nothing but matter. Y'all going to be like, what the fuck happened to Ratchet? Hell no. Nah. So no, nah, don't go Ratchet. <laughs> Please don't look up in the eclipse. Several readers have warned. No, no, no. I told y'all not to look up in there. I don't give a damn if they give y'all glasses or, or not. Do not go look up into that damn eclipse. Nah, with all jokes aside, don't go do that, y'all. Don't go look up into that damn eclipse tomorrow because it's it's going to be some scary stuff tomorrow. It's going to be some scary stuff tomorrow. <laughs> so shit, if I do, it's, it's going to be scary. Poacher guys, they said, please stay home, Ratchet. If you look directly into it, you're going to be on some bird box type. Sh- hey, look, y'all going to be like, I do. If I come live and just don't say nothing, if y'all see me just go live with my camera on, just staring at the damn screen. Y'all know they got me. <laughs> they, they got to ratchet y'all. I told that nigga not to look into that damn eclipse. I told him not to look into that eclipse. They said, look into the last eclipse. Nothing happened. This ain't the last eclipse, MJ. All right, MJ. Take your goofy ass out there tomorrow and go look up into that damn eclipse. When I go live that night, I want you to pop up here and tell me what you saw. That's what I want you to do. I want you to look direct. Since you think fat meat ain't greasy, look your ass right up into that sky tomorrow. And then when, when once it's all said and done and all the chips fall, I'm going to go live that night. I want you to pop your ass up. If you able to make the live, I don't think you're going to make it. You're going to be in bird box land. You know, you're going to be stuck in some loop somewhere. But go ahead, man. Be my guest. I would love to, for somebody to tell me what they've seen. They said, don't watch. So I'm going to look at it YOLO. Hey, it, all right, do it. Hit me up when you do it. Yeah, I'm going to send you the link. Don't even worry about it. Uh, When I go live tomorrow, I'm going I'm to definitely pop that link out for anybody who witnessed that eclipse. I want to I want to I want to interview. Matter of fact, anybody who looks at that damn eclipse tomorrow, I'm going to interview you. I'm going to interview you tomorrow on my channel. You're going to get a free Ratchet TV interview tomorrow. All you got to do is look up into it. You got to, but you have to film yourself. I'm not going to believe you if you don't do this. I'm going to let anybody come up here and get a free interview. But this is the, this is the catch. You got to film yourself out there. I want to see you look up in the sky. You can't just come up here acting crazy telling me, see, I ain't stupid. I know somebody, oh man, I can't, my brain hurting. And no, I don't want to hear all that. I, I want you to, I want to see your ass looking up into that sky. You're going to have to film it. And, and you're going to have to send me the video. And then I'm going I'm to I'm set you up for an interview at 8.30. They said, then, they said, then we will wear the glasses to watch them on your live. Yeah, we'll we'll watch the glasses. We'll, we'll put the glasses on to watch the live. But don't even worry about it. We, I'm, I'm going to interview you tomorrow. Uh, Ken Ken says this the ish i'm talking about my boy great job blessing salute to you i appreciate you salute 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 uh oh yeah and then my, my boy has sent me a video let me see i can't it's two minutes long let me see if i can let me see if i can send this to myself no, i can't send it on instagram it's too long hold on give me a second let me send this to myself real quick let me send this video to myself real quick. Uh, Ratchet TV. All right, there we go. All right, my bad. Hold on, let me send this to myself real quick. I got another video I was supposed to. I was supposed to play. I for, I completely forgot. I completely forgot about this video. But anyway, let me email it to myself real quick so I can get it, and then I'll show y'all real quick. No, nah, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be some crazy stranger things that's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't know who's gonna go out there, but if you do go out there, I'm gonna interview you. Don't worry about it. I promise you, I'm going to interview you. All you gotta do is go up there tomorrow. I mean, go outside, turn your camera on, look up into the sky, and watch the eclipse. I wanna see you watch it. And then hit me up on Instagram, be like, Ratchet, I did it. And I'm gonna be like, all right, I got you. So, Ratchet, you trying to get swallowed. Not by no damn eclipse. <laughs> not by no damn eclipse. I'm not. I do not want to get swallowed by no eclipse. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. But I do appreciate that five piece. All right, it just sent to me. All right, let me go get this real quick. Let me grab this damn uh video. My boy sent me this video. Let me let me see what video this is. All right. 
download it. Boom. All right, let me play this video real quick. Let me play this video. Hold on. Let me share my screen. All right, let's go. Let's watch this real quick together, y'all. So I was doing more research on the solar eclipse. And the difference between the ones we see on the regular and this one is the ones we see on the regular, you can't see all over the United States. You only see it in certain areas. Now what makes these total solar eclipse so rare is you can see these in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. The moon will completely cover the sun supposedly for four minutes. Another difference is they don't bring out the National Guard and military for regular eclipse. So that's how you know this is different. Now, I'm not saying they brought the military and National Guard in Oklahoma and Texas for this year's eclipse. This eclipse will be seen in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Kentucky, Michigan, and Tennessee. It's supposed to go dark for four minutes. Now, the last eclipse like this one was in 2017, the year Trump was elected. Sounds a little crazy, huh? 2017 don't even feel like it's been that long, right? Now, I'm not saying time was sped up, but the mass shooting in Vegas that left 58 dead and nearly 500 wounded, that was also in 2017. But this is what got me. The police captain that was in charge of handling the Vegas script during the shooting, whose name is John Pelletier, was also the police chief of Maui in Hawaii when the fire started and killed all those people. Coincidence? Hmm, I don't know. Now back to the eclipse. I'm not saying I remember the U.S. basically talking about trying to cover up the sun. And I'm not saying they have this project called Solar Geo Engineering where they're spraying aerosol into the stratosphere to create a global cooling effect on the sun to prevent global warming. Basically damning the sun to cool the planet. I'm not saying that I remember China saying they were building their own sun. So are these eclipses natural or is there something else going on? I'm definitely not saying I've seen the video with what seems to be two moons in the sky at one time. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes you think, huh? Man, 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 man. Now, I hope y'all, I hope y'all woke up tonight, man. <clears throat> I hope y'all woke y'all asses up tonight. That is what I hope y'all did do. Hopefully this enlightened some people. He said, what happened to this guy? What happened to what guy? Oh, you're talking about the dude who was on the phone? Uh, salute G on that membership for 13 months. I appreciate you for being a member for 13 months. Drop them flowers, y'all. Drop them flowers for G. Salute, salute, salute. What y'all think about the, the content tonight, man? I want to know from the crowd, man. What did y'all think of the content? Did y'all enjoy it? I think this was one of the most different shows we've ever done on this channel. And this was my favorite show. I ain't gonna lie. This was this was my favorite, man. I, this one was one for the ages. I think this is the conversation that we've been alluding to having over here for a while now. We've been talking about it. And I, I finally just did it. I, I woke up today and something just told me. And I, actually, something just made me do it today. I had no control over it, man. It just it, this is the show that I was just told to do. And I was. Hey, I, I just did it how I was supposed to, man. I covered what I was supposed to. Oh, my bad. I didn't even speak. Salute G says, great show. Definitely watching the replay with my notebook. Salute to you, G, for that 10-piece. I appreciate you. And I hope y'all did learn something over here, man. Tomorrow is a very, very big day. And stay woke. Stay prayed up. I don't know how else to spin it to y'all. It's 2.20. We've been on live for two hours and 22 minutes. And tomorrow at 2.22, it's supposed to go down. That's crazy. I look up and it's 222. That's crazy. So uh yeah, man. I don't know what else to what else to tell y'all, man. This is this is what it is. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the content. Hopefully, y'all learned something over here tonight. Hopefully, if you are new over here, you subscribe to the channel. Salute to Eric, uh salute to Erica Pinky for that 20 piece on Cash App. I appreciate you. If you want to donate to the channel, send a super chat, super sticker. Cash App Dollar Sign Ratchet TV. We got two hundred ninety four dollars on the live stream. We are with two hundred ninety five. We five dollars away from a three hundred piece. We are fifty likes away from a thousand likes. Can fifty of y'all hit the like button on your way out the live? We about to jam some music over here. Y'all can stick around for the music. Wait till the live ends and then get in that comment section. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think is gonna happen April eighth after the video ends and the music stops. Get over to the comment section. And tell me what y'all thought about the video. Uh, who is this calling in? Damba. What's up, Damba? It do. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, I enjoyed the show. Shout out to the, the chat and everybody, but uh, don't fear. Fear is the least of your problems. Big Just thing. move with God on your side or move with God in you. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Salute to you, brother. But all this is tied into what they call Project Bluebeam. They've been doing this. They did that this with Maui. The finale. Yeah, they did it with Maui. Yeah. So, it's all tied in. But yeah, no fear, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> all right. Salute to you, brother. For sure. Salute. Bad A Woman, I appreciate you for that five piece. Salute to you. Salute to Zarina, your white. For that two piece, I appreciate you. Salute to all of y'all. You know, I love my gang. I love y'all, Ratchet Gang. We will be live tomorrow. I'll go live during the daytime tomorrow. We will figure this out. Uh, hopefully, everybody tunes in. We're going to do things a little different around here from here on out, man. We're going to cover a lot of stuff that people don't want to cover. And we're going to talk about all the tough topics around the world, man. We got to we gotta change over here, man. We got we to gotta change. So this was a good wake-up call, hopefully, for a lot of people. It's time to repent, y'all. Hey, I ain't here to preach. I'm just here to teach. I love y'all. I'm out, gang. See y'all tomorrow. No, I'm talking about... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is it? Who is this calling? It says your, your device is not connected. Claudine, Claudette, whoever Claudette is, say your device not connected. I was about to jam my music and get up out of here. You know what, Claudette? You say you're not connected. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you on the next one, Claudette. We out of here, gang. I love y'all. Tone bite.
Check me out. Nah. I know perfect timing feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. See, ain't too many like us, we like vintage bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. Grew up with these killers in my living space. A lot of niggas folded through them village days. Citywide gang injunction police raids. LA Times rolling 60s made the front page. I vowed to never let tradition seal my fate. Selling dope with hopes to graduate to real estate. I knew I was drumming to a different beat. Felt it in my stomach, I was just unique. We decided we gon' let these visions speak. Then we turned Swanson into Venice Beach. S600 made back platinum dealer plates. Wake up in this penthouse to the cityscape. You know it's authentic every shit I say. I knew self destruction ain't the only way. Sometimes perfect time and feel like I'm too late. But I know you still great in spite of your mistakes. Before you run your race, you gotta find the pace. Just make sure you cross the line and fuck the time it takes. I got out the county jail 2008. A couple months I dropped the tape, then I was on my way. My first single out and set the streets ablaze. On location, shot that video in front of the cage. Trying to find my way through this fucking maze. Every concert, hundred niggas on the stage. We're still active, so it's really just another day. The mode is paranoid, the book you out affects your pay. And when you stop eating, that affects your weight. And when you get hungry, that affects your brain. See me, I'm not tripping, I respect the game. I hope y'all do, if I can't make it, I'm gonna take a chain. See, ain't too many like us, we like vintage bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. But every single time I drop, they tell me I'm the great. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. Daddy Houston.
Valentino summers and wave runners Chains on my niggas like slave runners Drug dealers anonymous How many Madonnas can that monster fit? My brick talk is more than obvious It's ominous, garage is the phantom Ghouls, ghosts, and goblins Blonde mohawk, the collection I'm Dennis Rodman The money count is the only moment of silence Cause hush money balances All this drugs and violence Hat trick under my mattress Did I stop steal hats and asterisks After it, after all I can make a call, I can Baptize a brick as I wash away my sins like a Catholic. Who the fucking master this? America's nightmares in Flint. Children of a lesser God when your melanin's got a tint. And I can't even mention what I sent or what I spent. Cause my name in 18 wheelers is evidence. I put my foods in them proofs collection. Like this, likes a bitch. A to Z on her shoe collection. Take your pick. Paid in full like 86 G's on my body. The new Gucci has less monogram. God got it. Let he without sin cast the first stone So I built that all glass quad level first home Shatter all of your misconceptions Hold all of the missing weapons You thought I would miss my blessing The ultimate misdirection yeah, yeah. Your husband was a drug dealer For 14 years he sold crack cocaine uh. Federico Fellini in the flesh <laughs> Sergio Ciccini inside his mesh Bitch, I've been bracking since the 80s Google me, baby, you crazy 89 in London pulling bins up Type it in, Google's your friend, bruh 14-year drug dealer and still counting Who deserves the medal of freedom is my accountant He been hula hooping through loopholes working round shit IRS should have had the townhouse to surround it Thanks to the lawyers, I marbled the foyer, I tore the floor up, yeah, that's for the koi fish, we've been dining on oysters, I walked through the garage, it's like multiple choices, I told him pull a Royce up, I'm getting ghosts, I'm hearing noises, I think it's the boys, but I've been thinking it Deutsch, we got store fronts, we got employee stuff, we've been opening studios and 4040s up, the paper trail is gorgeous, cases we bury some, we for a reasonable doubt, drop the jury hung. Bling bling, every time I come around your city, bling bling. My tenure took me through Virginia, ask Teddy Rally Bobby, ask the Federalis Bobby, try to build a cell around me, snatch my nigga Emory up, try to get him to tell about me. He told 12, give me 12, he told him to go to hell about me. Drug dealers anonymous, y'all think Uber's the future, our cars been autonomous. Mules move the drums, take them to different spots, we just call the shots by simply moving our thumbs. I'ma cause some miracles with this shit Nothing real can be threatened Nothing unreal exists Therein lies the peace of God I always knew I was a prophet But I couldn't find a decent job Life made me ambidextrous Counting with my right Whipping white with my left wrist Damn, Daniel FBI keep bringing them all white vans through Spinning on a roller coaster ride. ride. Close your eyes, I'll take you on a roller coaster ride. Yo. You won't inside my mind, just know I think a little different. different. Acid trips, LSD, I'll take you on a mission. Uh. Hold, hold up, bro. bro. Hold, hold, let's go. Yeah. I don't have no heart, I let all let off. I'm razor blade sharp, I'm trapped in mazes I done swim with sharks and I done wrestle gators Back. While these niggas go party, I'll be writing I'll these be hits This ain't party, your nigga will probably leave with your bitch Bitch, yeah, nigga better check that Thinking I won't get her nigga, honey nigga bet that I'm more focused on the bezel with my neck And you can have her pussy
pussy, but I'ma hit her where it naked. Her where it naked. Yeah, I'm solid, no cons. No cons. And all these rappers looking like lunch me. Yeah. I am from another solar system or a planet. planet. I'm chilling with your chick, I make her top it off like Janet. Top. Take a peek inside my life, you'll see it's far from average. Bad. Not the type to brag, but just know I didn't hit the baddest. Bad. Gotta go for now, but I'ma be right back. Yeah. She like, damn King, King, why I gotta be like that? I gotta go for now, yo. but I'ma be right back. back. She like, damn King, King, why I gotta be like that? Yo. I just wanna get away. Yeah.